I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Octavius, what's up? Hey, what up, baby? Yeah. How you doing, man? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, man. How you doing? Man, I'm good, man. Right now, I got my, my summer allergies attacking me, so, you know, hopefully I'll be okay. And it, I've been fine all day. Like, I was getting fucked up yesterday, okay? Real bad. Today, I've been fine. And as soon as I hit broadcast, next thing I know, I started sneezing. I'm like, I swear. <laughs> I swear to God, if I start going through a fit right now, <laughs> you're going to have to hold it down. <laughs> I got you. But but we but we are live right now, man. How you doing today? You all right? I'm doing good, man. You know, just you know, enjoying my Thursday evening. I feel it. You know, Thursdays, pretty much the day right here before Friday, the weekend, about to get things started. Ah, <sighs> let me go ahead and let the people know I'm live, of course. You know, wrong with that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I see Herbs is already here. Oh, Herbs That's is what's up. Uh, right. Bounded. You already know it's better to be one thousand percent biased cabal commentary. I just want you to know that right now. <laughs> oh, if well then I'm have to hold it down for the homie Crumb dear. I mean, if he plays cabal, it's a hundred percent biased because I because I root for all cabals because. Ball buff, you know, it can easily happen like today, but I digress. <laughs> What's up, Deanna B? How you doing? You all right? You good? You know, there's levels to this shit, you know what I'm saying? You may think that about yourself, but there's going to be somebody out there who, who's worse than you. You know what I'm saying? Me? I'm terrible. I'm ass at this game. So, we in the same boat. But I'm okay. going to say you're probably better than me, though. What's up, Herbs? How you doing? Octavius, man, just in case y'all don't know, you know, it's another Savage Showdown going on tonight on this glorious Thursday. You know, it is 8 p.m. in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. I got the homie Octavius DMV with me on the mic. What's up, Octavius? Yeah, what's good, people? How y'all doing tonight? Shit, man, we about to go ahead and get this started. Waiting on the homie Crumb to come through. I see Herbs is in here, you know, with the cabal speed right now. Where the fuck is Crumb? You know how people be, you know, they be fashionably <laughs> late. You know what I'm saying? So sounds like Crumb, you know. <laughs> but how's everybody doing tonight? What's up, Logs? Deanna B. Thank you for the uh, host, Herbs. I really appreciate it. MC Kilgore, you know, what's up? How you doing? He said we all suck on this glorious day. <laughs> hey, <he ain't> never <laughs> Logs out here saying, get good, scrub. <laughs> Logs out here being a bully to everybody. That's, that's me. But Logs is definitely the homie, you know. He's definitely one of the most genuine people I know he's always himself so if you guys do not know we happen to have the Savage Showdown going on tonight first to five sets and Mortal Kombat 11 we have this room here called the Savage Showdown and uh, let me make sure Crumb knows Just made a valid good point that we have multiple exhibitions with the same formula. Facts. Definitely big facts. Big facts. So everybody knows what's going on at every exhibition. Like that is the key right there. Consistency and cohesiveness is definitely what we need out here in the uh, NRS because it is <laughs> chaotic, to say the least. Log said, if you love getting hit by uh, wake up buttons, this is your game. Oh, fact, that's <laughs> all me. What does this mean? I'll, I'll run you down after I knock you down and press a button and still get hit by an upgrade. Like, what? And of course, you know, they're going to be like, man, you should have timed your meaty. 
<laughs> right? Maybe like, oh, okay, my bad. Or if I wake up three and I get shimmied and then punish and then it's just GG's after that. I'm like, all right, cool. 40% combo in the corner. Uh, Are we out here? Go. Okay. Here. Let's go get, ahead and get this this uh, first match on the way. Again, you know, we got this set going on right now. It's going to be the homie Michael Crumb facing off against Herbs. The Cabal Beast. You know, Octavius already said that he was going to be a little biased here. Octavius, you're not supposed to be biased on, on commentary. What's up? Hey, I mean, it is what it is, you know. I, I see Cabal on the screen. There's a Cabal on the screen. That's all I'm saying. If there's no Cabal on the screen, it's, it's, it's unbiased. But if I see that man cable up there, it's a wrap. Yes, I, it... I gotta know if he's got the sense. <laughs> I gotta know. <laughs> it is definitely first to five, Herbs. Definitely first to five wins. He'd like to put on a little bit of a show here, you know? That backdrop they put for um, Aftermath? I love it. Oh, Johnny I heard the words. Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me. It is about to go down right now. We got Crumb facing off against the homie Herbs right now. First of five said we're gonna see Johnny Cage, and of course Herbs gonna be using Cabal. Let's see how this goes though. The spins, of course he got the spins. We got high force ball. Roger Star, low force ball. What's that? Round one. No, no, no. I'll take. Ooh. Right now, you know, Crumb trying to find his way in and getting hit from the counter hit from Herbs here. Nice wake up. Herbs right now just going to walk back, you know, trying to gain a little bit of real estate here. And you heard it? I'm a broken baby crushing blow. Just like that. You love to see it. Yes, you know, just like that, we see Herbs coming through with the armor break. He read the break away, and it, that shit did not work out for Crumb. Eat that damage. Right now, keeping up the pressure, of course, putting out the gas. But here comes Crumb. We got the Fatal Blow cancels on deck. Okay, hitting him with a force ball. Watch the toes. Yes, yes, yes. You know, definitely out here with the Cabal getting that first victory. We see you, Herbs, but you know, Crumb didn't look too bad there. He definitely looked like uh, he could do this. He said, wake up buttons and jumps of CPUs, of course. <laughs> oh, and jumps, of course. Oh, Crumb talking his shit already. He said, that was a micro duck. <laughs> Logs said, I'll see y'all in Injustice 3. Give you some arrow work. Hey, Logs, what you gonna do if Green Arrow is not in Injustice 3? Hey, he's gonna be hurting. He really <laughs> is. Logs is like a Green Arrow, you know, loyalist and everything. What's up, Carl GG? How you doing, man? Appreciate you coming through to the Savage Showdown. But I don't think Injustice 3 is coming for a while. Be waiting a 
Round one. Ooh, no intro this time. Okay, we in it. Oh, off for the zoning. Oh. Defense here goes for the whole string. Oh my God, the throw with. We can see it. No real punishment. Down one. Right there with the reversal, you know, right now he's gonna put on some pressure. Here comes the gas, getting caught by the gas. A little bit of a trade here on the zoning. Working his way in, okay. Crumb fighting back. Okay, Crumb, we see you fighting back. Wow, okay, 290 damage. Right now we got a little bit of zoning on deck and the trade. Pretty similar on life here. Oh my god, does he have the spin? Bounce? Yes, sir. Oh no, doesn't enhance it because he's out of meter, unfortunately. Ooh. Letting that whole string uh, rock there. Ninja Mind 4 was bullshit. Hey, uh, Octavius, can you put your mic, mic up a little bit louder? Swan says it's hard to hear you. Okay, here comes Crumb. Zona. Getting caught by that little hook. Oh. Ah, and a crushing blow. Of course, he's going to eat that damage. And right now, Crumb not having the resources to break away. And Herb's putting on all this damage. Get in the restand. But Crumb's still fighting back through all of that. And as soon as I say that, here is a lag spike. Oh, that was real. My goodness. But gets the armor breaker there with the hook grab. Down four. Comes in. And finish. Okay. By the way, uh, Swan, how is how does my voice sound now? Is it loud enough? I think it sounds better than me for sure. Alright, sounds good. Sounds good. Cool. You know, Herb's taking another one right now. It is 2-0 in this set. Remember, guys, this is a first of five, so it's not over just yet. Crumb does have an opportunity to come back. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not over yet. Crumb can definitely make an adjustment, change his characters, or do whatever he needs to do to get his mind right to get himself back into the set. It's only 2-0 right now. Herb still has to win Johnny three more. Cabal. But it looks like Crumb went with Showstopper, it looked like. Switching up the variation there. Probably trying to use that camera to say cheese a little bit more. A little bit of restands. A little bit of guaranteed Shirai damage. If he can get a um a hit conversion in there. So that's, that's all that really matters. <laughs> Swan said, can you get a little bit louder? Pretty soon, Octavia's going to be yelling. I mean, to me, you sound fine. But if the people say you're not loud enough, can you turn it up just a little bit more? Round one. I don't know. Put it inside your mouth. I don't know. Pause. But know. here we go. Get back <laughs> into this right now. Crumb got the fourth ball on deck. Okay, let's go, Crumb. All right, forward throw there from uh, Herbs. Resets it. Put things back in mid screen. Ooh, gets caught by the second uh, force ball there from uh, Johnny. Beautiful. Uses the enhanced version of the air of. Uh, for the air blade to get himself back on the ground positively. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. That's Ooh. one, yes, Herb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that coming. Beautiful read there from Herb. Expected the expected the breakaway. Not sure why. That could be the only reason why he went for the hook grab there, because that wasn't very optimal. Uh, Crumb did not have two meters to break away, but he probably just, you know, natural reaction. Right now, we got the Fatal Blow cancels on deck, and Crumb gonna go ahead and get a grab here, putting on some work in the corner. Say Smile. cheese. <laughs> Say cheese. Oh, and that's that ass. We see you, Crumb. And shout out to Long Live Jade for the follow. Welcome to the Savage Side. Appreciate it. Round two, fight. Ooh, the patience. Oh my goodness. There it goes. Bro, his down three has so much range. It's ridiculous. I'm like, Johnny's not even that tall. Ooh. Like, look at that, bro. I don't know. Johnny Cage definitely knows how to stretch, you know? He definitely seems like a type of guy who does yoga or something like that. <laughs> um, bro. His down three reaches so long. I'd be like, yo, you gotta chill, bro. <laughs> like, somebody stop Johnny. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay. Tries to jump out of the corner, but gets caught by a standing one. Pushes him right back into the corner. Herbs is being... Oh, uh, right back at you. Anti-air standing one from Herbs. Getting himself out of the corner now. Oh, get, but gets grabbed. Mm. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Crum gonna go ahead and get himself on the board. Right now, it is 2-1. Herbs is up, but Crum, of course, showing some sign of life. He definitely battled back there. And Herbs, I don't even think, took a round there. So good shit, Crum. Like I said, you know, he might have just needed a change of variation. That, uh, maybe he was relying too much on the zoning from, uh, outtake. And he probably just needed to get in to put some type of pressure on Johnny Herbs there with Showstopper. Cabal. Seemed to work out in his favor that time. Uh oh, going back to his bread and butter mean streak. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Hmm, that is a hard yes. Tournament. So did he, he switch back? He went to, um, uh, Mean Street. Oh, nice. Okay. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Crumb said, fuck you, no know, Mean Street. Oh, yeah. That's his bread and butter, Crumb. You better watch out. Oh, they go to dash cancel already. <laughs> Got the spin, boy. Just watches him drop. Like, oh, my God. Does it again. But Crumb was ready for the grabs. Nice throw tech there. And right now, we got a little bit of zoning here from Crumb, of course. Oh, meeting him in the air. And, of course, the immediate breakaway. Missing that hook slam. All right. Ah. Here comes Herbs right now. Trying to put Crumb into the corner. And Crumb, of course, trying to work his way out right now. Another dash cancel into back grab. Mean streak. Bread and butter, baby. You better block. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Boom. Get off me, throw tech. Hmm. How did the both those hit? Okay, jumping over the uh, hook, all right. Oh, wow, and unfortunately that was out of range and that's not gonna work. And Herbs is gonna go ahead and give himself a throw punish. Avoiding the chip, but it doesn't matter for the air to air. Herbs taking the first round here. Round two, fight. Nice, nice punish. punish there. Oh, I'm, I'm surprised. Oh my gosh. Herb going with the. Oh my god, the read. Oh, just getting the jump in. Asking him if he's got the spin. Telling everybody that he's caballing. Here comes the back one. Oh no, he goes with the forward too. There goes the back one. There goes. Oh, pop. Enhance? No, just throws him right down. Mm. Ah. Armor mm, broken bang. again. Into the crushing Breaker. blow. Ah. Herms right there looking very vicious, you know. He went into that main streak and damn, he got on a main streak. Okay, we see Herms. <laughs> I believe that takes us at three to one in favor of Herms. Yes, it is. Three one right now. Let me throw it in the chat real quick. You know, shout out to everybody who's watching the Savage Showdown right now. You know, my name is Savage, and we got the homie Octavius DMV on the mic with me. And this is a Savage Showdown. First to five sets in Mortal Kombat 11. What you see right now, you see Herbs going off against Michael Crumb right now in a set. Herbs is up three wins to Crumb's one. Oh, is that a Cassandra Cage? Oh, my goodness. Oh, and she's dead. I leave. I would never, would never use a Revenant Cassandra skin. That's disrespectful. She don't never die. He <laughs> said she don't never die. <laughs> she don't never die. Round one, fight. I go on, going with the classic digital soldier to check his knees to see if he's knee tapping or not. Oh Ooh. my goodness, the conversion. Break, oh my goodness. Herbs, relax. She and has a family. But Herbs does not give a shit about that family right now as he goes in, putting on all this pressure right here. 
And of course, Crumb being patient, trying to see what Herbs is gonna do. Got a little bit of zoning on deck and catching him with the Nomad Dash. Ah! These Nomad Dashes that Crumb is getting caught by is just like ridiculous. I just feel like that he doesn't expect it to come, so Herbs is just throwing it out there. Like he just has to be. We still got the zone in on deck. Crumb trying to figure out what he what's the game plan right now. Okay, we got the stagger. Oh, oh and the flawless block. The knowledge from herbs. Does not, unfortunately, does not uh, convert the combo. Drops it, unfortunately. Back to ooh, stopped himself from falling into the range of that projectile, but it doesn't matter. Crumb says, "I'm gonna hit you with the thick of him, shoot you with the guns a couple times, and take this first round." Round two, fight. All right, right now, okay, getting the grab from applying some pressure. Let's see what's the move. Of course, he can apply some pressure, okay, and gets punished from herbs. Down one, boop, two, three. Oh no, goes with the juggle with the two, two to another two, two. Boop. Oh my goodness, these conversions here from herbs are phenomenal. Back one counter, crushing blow. Boop, boop, yep. Expected the breakaway, did not come. Crum was ready for it. Ooh, Watch your toe. Jump to no avail. And nice there like from herbs, of course, and switching sides. Gonna take that round. These hey, neutral yeah. jumps are um are catching crumb every time. Like it seems like every time herbs jumps, crumb presses a button and herbs just catches an on the way down. Whether it be a a buzzsaw jump kick or a jump block, it, it catches crumb every every time. Nice cancel there, four throw. Of course, trying to keep him in the corner and right now getting that counter hit. Here comes the combo and the break. Oh, a little late. Oh. A little late there on the armor breaker. Oh. Oh, catches him with the fatal blow. Broken jaws coming. Fucking up your kneecaps and your gut. We see you, Cassie Cage. I mean, that definitely was the move for Crumb to make. Definitely had to bet it all there. And right now, hers with the brutality. Where your legs go, Crumb? Fuck. Shit. Don't you need those? She ain't got no legs. She ain't got no legs. Oh, no. Hers going up right now in the fucking set. It is now 4 1. Starting to look like a, a mountain here for uh, Crumb to come back. He's Herb's in the chat saying he missed this variation. First time you've ever seen a bru oh yeah, I mean, if you don't play Wooka Ball or have played against a Wooka Ball, then you probably don't see that often because a lot of people don't play Mean Street, which is weird to me. Um, I think like Mean Street before version 3 came out, the spins, I thought Mean Street was probably his better variation. But um, for for some reason, a lot of people like, uh, what's it called, uh, what's, what's, what's variation 2 called? What are we talking about? Cabal? Yeah. Shit, I don't know. There's Mean Streak. This fucking got the spins. Uh, fuck, I don't know. I forgot to. <laughs> well, it is what it is. And right now, Herbs is on game point here in this first of five set. All he needs is this one more victory. And Crumb gonna try to stick it out here with Cassie Cage for the long haul. You might feel that's a better matchup. And honestly, as as somebody that's played Book of Ball, um, I find this this matchup uh, about. I want to personally. I think it's in Cabal's favor, but that's just me. Right now, a little bit of zoning here. Of course, we got the uh, fucking buzz saw going through Cabal. He's pushing his way up. Oh, get yeah, armor breaker and boom! Yes, sir. Thirty two damage does not pop up because of the armor break. And we got cancers on deck, but a fucking nice tech here from Crumb. Really trying to get his way out of this corner. He does have a little bit of chance here, but let's see what he's gonna do with it. Oh, these low buzz saws just catch people off guard every time. 
Hey, Choco Poodle, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate you being here. Welcome to the seven side. Welcome to the stream. Ah, clean cut. Thank you, Long Live Jace. MC Kilgore said that he uh, believes Buzz Off beats the bullets, I guess, huh? <laughs> oh, we got the whiff punish on deck. We see you, Crumb. Oh, and dropping the combo. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. It's definitely at this stage right here where he is fighting for his life. He needs to take this round to stay alive. Fighting for his motherfucking life. Fighting for my life, man. Uh oh. Because he got the spin. Mm, nope. Ooh. Oh, get caught trying to throw out the fatal blow by the buzzsaw. Oh my goodness, these nine seconds are gonna be feel like forever there for Crumb. And we're back. Mm. And just like that, man, he gets those legs clipped and it hurts and go for the fake tally. You know, I really want to appreciate oh, these no. two guys. The friendship. Ooh, the friendship? We see you, Herbs? Okay. This is Herbs right now. Hey. Friendship. Cabal wins. Now I kind of expected him to go really quick there. Like, you know, speed it up or something. But all right. Mm. Mm. GG. I, I thought so too. And again, you know, I definitely want to say thank you to Herbs and the Crumb for coming on to the Savage Showdown. I really appreciate you guys for being here. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys again in the future. Definitely GG's to Herbs and GG's to Crumb. Thank you both for coming through and participating this evening. All right, we have another set on the way. It's going to be FGC Doom facing off against Shin. Now, let me see if these guys are here just yet. Nope. Let me ping them on Twitter. Yes, hashtag Buff Cabal's friendship. He needs to be going fast and just like hitting the, uh, what is Olifone? Just like that. Like, that'd be dope. If he just like runs by and, and it just like makes a beat like that, that'd be vicious. But, you know. What do I know? Let me tag these guys. Of course, there is a typo when I make the tweet, but it's all good. So we got, oh, there's Shin with you, huh? Yep, Shin is here, and his opponent is FGC Doom. Oh, okay, okay. I've seen Shinless play a couple times. Uh, Doom as well. So, you know, this should be a pretty interesting matchup. Hey, no problem, Hurts. Thank you for being on, man. Really appreciate you coming through. Man, we already got Shin here. We are just currently waiting on FGC Doom. I've definitely seen Shin on a Savage Showdown before. He's been here a couple times. Him and his Kotal. Sounds like he's going to be using uh, Cabal here today. Uh, excuse me, not Cabal. Fujin. And then FGC Doom, I've never seen him play. So we'll see. We will see. Ah, good old Fusion, huh? Fusion. Fusion. Fusion, huh? Baby bro elder god, huh? Okay, alright. Hey, Herbs, you know, I'm definitely learning as I go, you know what I mean? 
I think my chat does uh, really well. They know I'm not with the bullshit. You know what I mean? Are we we could be respectful and just laugh, have some fun. That's all I ask for. That's it. I don't think I'm asking for too much. Wait. Why didn't it let me go AFK? Yo, I hate this game. <laughs> Octavius. All right. Looks like he's going to have to catch the hands real quick. Just, like, I literally pressed AFK and it was like, are you sure? And then it was just like, yeah, never mind. <laughs> you you probably clicked start by accident or something. <laughs> Damn, her um, said you scared of Doom. Oh shit, you scared? Man, Doom don't want this sub work, dog. But it's cool. I gotta let it ride. <laughs> I gotta let it ride. You know, gotta keep the stream flowing. Round one. I know you like that skin, though. Yeah, boy, Black Eyes Boy. You know, I, I really do. Uh, I've always been on the fence of playing Sub-Zero. I go back and forth, play him, don't play him, whatever. But this new skin, cold as fuck. Like, you have to play Sub now. Right? Mmm, the down three, bro. You hate to see it. That was optimal as hell. Look at Octavius I'm DMV get his ass busted. Get him busted. Oh, hold on, I'm hit him. Oh, damn. No, not like this. <laughs> not like this. Dead of winter and not avalanche. <laughs> Tried to hit him with the trap, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. It's not that variation. Yeah, no fallers here, boy. Woo! <laughs> Alright, looks like we're gonna go ahead and get into the real match here. Doom facing off against Shin. Hey, Diana B says, that's going to look when I play. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> Diana B, you, you know, might... I was saying earlier, I was on your tweet. I said, you have to have confidence in yourself. If you go into it saying, I'm going to get my ass beat, you right. You're going to get your cheeks busted, okay? But you can't go into it like that. You have to have some confidence. Like, I'm going to whoop this motherfucker ass. Come on now, say it. Put it in the chat. Jacqueline Shredder from TMT. <laughs> hey, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> hey, look, if they added Shredder, like they already had uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Injustice. If they added Shredder to Mortal Kombat 11, I'll be on your head. Bruh, if they add. <sighs> My goodness. Man. What would his fatality be? They probably put that, that, that gauntlet with the uh, claws on it. Probably stick that shit like right through your. Uh, Throw to something and rip your head off. <laughs> oh, she comes in with a 4 3 1 combo. Watch your toes, girl. Slides in. Oh, bring that ass here, girl. Yes. Yeah, and right now, Not we got Shin using the fusion. Got this FTC Doom right here in the corner. Okay. Okay. Oh, mm. beautiful read for the down two there. Nice conversion. Nice 34% there from uh, Sinless. Hmm. It's called by the overheads, unfortunately. He's playing a little defense. Oh my god. Of course, unfortunately, no punish there for Doom. Sinless playing good defense here. Whipping throws. Desist. Desist. You heard the man. Long ponytail down the back. Hey, Fusion cold as fuck. Definitely the avatar out here just, just grown up. I, That's I feel a. like food, I feel like like they gave like fusion like all of with the swag that they didn't give any other character and they just said we're gonna give it the fusion. That's clearly what they did. Yeah, like like nobody else just like has like this kind of swag in like their moves. Well Jay kinda has like some swag in her moves, but not like this though. Oh, the down two here from Fusion. Okay, into the short hop. short hop. And he's abusing that forward three string. He's trying to use that. He, he has realized that Doom is not blocking his toes. Look at that. Mm, another one. <laughs> another one. Another one. Ooh, Ooh, the down two. Oh, we man. see you. Mm, uses to go with the wiggle stick and not the right. Interesting. Oh, oh my. Spring. Get. Ass. Here, girl. 
Now that shit, okay, that shit looks nice as fuck. And you know, low key, I really like that that move, that kick move. I don't care how negative it is, whatever. I just love the way that shit look. That shit look cold as fuck. Yeah, they, they yeah, they. That's kind of. I think that's probably what the best special move in the game. Aesthetically, like, like looks wise, it it just looks the best to me. It just. It damn near Windwalker, you know. This is crazy, though. So right now, you know, Shin's gonna go ahead and take that first one. It is now 1-0 in this uh this set. Jay. Doom going with the Emerald Assassin herself, still Shin rocking with Jade. Temple. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out too, Logs. Like, I was like, why does Fujin, why does Fujin have this weak ass crossbow? But I digress. <laughs> but I digress. You know, but I digress. You know, he, it it really seems just... unnecessary. He can literally move the wind and everything from his fucking hands. He has like he's a a, a, a force push and everything. I mean, and out of the crossbow bow comes wind. So what the fuck? Right. Like it just it doesn't make sense. Like it should have just left him like with a sword. That would have been cool. Ooh, uh, okay, trying to go with the, the glow here, stop some of this projectiles coming his way, but uh, it's to stop the other onslaught of pressure that is coming his way from Shinless. Doom getting on a roll here. Oh my goodness, not the face. You are no challenge. Round you know, Fushin out here talking his shit, he's definitely uh, the coolest of the Elder Gods right now, even over Raiden, you know. Raiden just seems like he's old. Right? He trying to be cool, but he just don't get it. <laughs> yeah, he don't get it at all. He is abusing that 4-3. That is Shinless's favorite button. I'm telling you. It's gonna come. The 4-3 and with the back 2 right there. Ooh. As, who tries the, to catch Zoom in the air with a wind wall. And right now we're gonna see a little bit of zoning here from FGC Doom. Trying to see if we can get something started. Nice. Throwing the glaze. Ooh. Jumping out of the corner. Nice defense there from Doom. Trying to catch on to what's going on. Ooh, right. nice block. I really feel like he could have punished that, but somehow he did not. And the time is winding down. We are at five seconds here. But of course, Shin does not need it. Finishing off Doom right now. Going up another game in this set. It is now 2-0. How's everybody doing tonight? You know, I appreciate seeing everybody in the chat right now. We got Deanna B. We got Jackson, Logs, uh, J. Crib. Thank y'all for being here. Daphnar, OG, what's up? He said the OG Shin. Jen out here uh, with the fans and everything. Shin always got fans. People, supporters, you know what I'm saying? People who come through and support him when he play on stream. And you really love to see that. Oh, Thunder? There's a there's a serious storm outside right now, so if if I cut off, that's probably why. Just in case we just All in right. case. Yeah. Oh, Doom's going to No, I oh the Joker, Madman variation. I, I, interesting choice. I'm actually not a fan of Madman. I don't I don't think that is his his variation, but if that fits your playstyle, I say go for it. Personally, it's not one of my favorites. I think Clown Prince uh, fits me as a player better than any of his other variations. Take down one there. Goes in with the four. One throwing money at people. Mm, throwing dead man. See, nice breakaway there from Shinless. Ooh. Oh my God. 
Yeah. That move is ridiculous. Four, three, one. Mm -hmm, yep. Okay, throw this money in your face. Boom, boom. Bop. Mm, down two. Mm, yes, sir. The fact that converted is ridiculous. And Aang out here doing all this in a very late breakaway here. Uh, I'm, maybe that was an accident? Nice jump in punch here from Doom. Here comes Madman in the damage. Wop, 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 wop. Mmm. That's a great punch bag out here. Oh, yes. Yeah, Jack in the box in hand. Yeah, it's not avoided. Doom trying to get around here. Life lead is about even. You gotta block that. Gotta hold that damage. It's coming. Nice. Who gets caught by the overhead on on that stream? I'm sorry. I feel like they've added more dialogue to uh, the Joker and his puppet. I swear. Oh, nicely timed by Doom. Saw the still... four three coming in from Sinless and just shoots. Oh my God! And shoots out the uh, the Batsy Cube here. Forward one, hit him in the face with some money. Break away. Unfortunately, no armor break there from uh, Doom. With not and the down it. two crushing blow. Ah, and then he, of course he has to break away, trying to avoid any more of that damage right there. And Doom trying to jump in. Here comes the combo. Ooh, okay, set him on fire. He's in Fuego. He's in the corner. He's in trouble. Gets out of it. Oh, that is a one. Mm. Nice defense there from uh, Shinless. Brings him in. Come here, boy. Trying to hit him with a standing one here. All right, defense here from Shin. Oh, cancels it. Boom, bop, bow. Okay, we're going on for a ride. Nice breakaway. Still gets caught by the flames. You hate to see it. Doom gets himself on the board. Wow. Okay, looks like the switch is there. Doom taking the set. Um... Actually, what's that? Three one? No, no, two one, two one, two one. Should be two one. Two one in favor of Shinless. Doom gives himself on the board. Yes, Doom right now getting himself on the board with this Joker pick of all. You know, I saw Herb saying it's it's nice to see Doom pick a different character. I guess maybe he's known for his Jade, um, but here he is picking a Joker and getting a victory. So, you know, definitely uh, pick the character that. Uh, you think is going to benefit and win that match. Now, Herb said he mains Sonya. Okay. You know, I wonder what happened to all the Sonya players. It's like they just kind of vanished. Like, I don't know what happened, and I don't know why. Because it's not like Sonya's bad. Eh, in a world of Spawn and Joker, you know, and all these other cool characters, you really want to pick bland Sonya? <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah, nah, fam. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I think what really hurt Sonya is the fact they got Ronda Rousey to do the voice. <laughs> but I digress. And now look, I'm going to be honest. I do not think it's the worst voice in the game. It's, it's kind of rough, but I do not think... It's the worst Round voice one. in the game. I think the worst voice definitely uh, Demetrius Vegas. And even Shiva's kind of rough, to be honest. But the... But that, but Demetrius Vegas like, uh, like voice, isn't the default voice. So I mean, like, oh, not my favorite voice. I like Steven. Uh, sure. Ooh, okay, bop, bop, bop. Okay, he's, he's in the corner now. Down two. Keep him in there. Nice conversion there. Mhm. Mm yep. I expect. Oh my God. Again, I expect some flames. No. And I've never seen that combo with the down two in it, but nice one from uh, Doom. And Shen, of course, yeah. trying to stay alive, work his way. They're in the middle right now, in the middle screen, okay. Shen's out here, gotta do something else. He's gotta do something else, because it seems like Doom has gotten the download right Round now. Two, fight. Oh. Just throwing money in his face, so disrespectful. I mean, low key, you know, Joker out here being a, a, a crook, got some money. Oh, wow. just walk up to me. I'm making a second. I'm holding. Got him. 
Got him. Oh, break And again, away. another breakaway. This this has to be an error, right? Like, is he really wanting to break away at the end? There was no more damage that could have been done. I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe he's hoping he can get a punish if he breaks away. Oh, oh, and the crushing go. blow takes the cane to the blow. fucking face. We got the Ooh, gas on deck. Your ass is about to burn, Fusion. What up, Mr. Nice King Joker? I'll save the day. Go save the day. You heard the man. Oh my goodness. Beautiful four, three hit conversion into a fatal blow. Like, why? Like, why is it I don't do it. Explain, interact, please. Yo, he's like, you're dead. He's not getting up after that. The sword went through your skull. You're dead. Like, round. you're dead. Fight! Okay, we have Shin. has now got himself a round going in, but it looks okay. Life lead is about even. Beautiful jump in there from Doom. Bringing the Doom. Oh, nice. Another one. Another one! Back to back forward ones, money in the face. Oh, bring that ass here, boy. Breaks away at the end for some reason again. Doom does every time he gets hit by that wind wall. He just says, "I'm gonna just break away late." For some reason, Shin is taking full advantage of that fatal blow cancel there for Doom. You get a grab, but the interactable. Where's your head at, boy? Finish him. Shin is taking the game, going up three-one into the set. Three one and it says Shane is definitely on top right now. I wonder what FCC Doom can do. Uh, what type of adjustment can he make? Can he pick another character? Is he gonna stick with this one? Can he? Is he gonna go to his Sonya uh, with the Rondi Roos voice? You know, what can he do? And thank you to Raging Sea Turtle for the follow. Welcome to the Savage Side. Hopefully you are enjoying this Savage Showdown that we got going on tonight. It's definitely first to five matches all night long till about ten thirty. Uh, glad to have you here. Log still out here talking about arrow character. He said, "Imagine if they had arrow in this game." I don't, I don't think an, another um, DC character would do well in this game. Personally, I just, I don't think the uh, the image that they have for DC characters would flow well. Right. The Joker flows well just because he's the Joker. He's crazy that's murderer, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's just kind of why he fits. But, like, I don't think any of the heroes would fit just because of the image that they have out there for them. Unfortunately, that's just kind of how they have the game. And that's why Injustice is the way it is. Round one. Fight. But is that a Jackie Briggs? Oh, we got the Queen Jackie Briggs on deck right now. And, of course, she can get kicked in the face, too. Dropping mm. to that side. Here she comes. You know how to get hit in the face, bro? Next generation, what are you talking about? Oh no, I like this. Another forward three one. Mm. Okay, block get the punish Finally. here. Nice punish there. Boom, bow. Okay, set up. And we got the mm. next gen Jackie as well mm. on deck. Okay, we're putting the goop on the ground. Eat that X little bit of damage. And here's the throw. Ooh, the goop, the goop, the goop up. Oh, nice punish there. From Doom, hard knockdown, and some more goo, but it's blocked on the ground. Oh, catch him in the air, goo for goo. Ah. Oh my goodness, 24% just gone because he intentionally whiffed the button. Oh, oh my goodness, beautifully done from Doom. We see you, Doom. That definitely was uh, nicely calculated there. And what are you gonna do in this round? He's gonna do it again. Oh my goodness, look at him. Stopping Shinless from jumping around, flying around the screen. Coming in with those four threes. Look at him. Going in for those lows. Oh, but I got this nice frame mid. Hold that. Sitting in this goop. Yes, sir. Another one. Oop. Another bop, one. Okay. Bop, bop. Okay. Oh, and going to drop the combo. Getting kicked in the face. We got the crossbow on deck. We're gonna slide into the DMs and everything right now. Go get that whip, and here's the dash punch from Jackie Briggs. You just put all up with the dash punch. Hold this. You're just gonna mm. die. That's highly unfortunate. Doom getting himself back on the board, taking the set three to two in favor of Shinless and his fusion. Yes, yes, yes. What's up, Young Saiyan Rose? How are you doing? And shout out to Burks for the follow. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the Savage Side. Hopefully you're enjoying what you are seeing here tonight. 
Nana B said this is why she need to go back to uh, Jackie. You know, we 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 definitely support the queen, uh, Jackie Briggs. Man, I mean, I'm as as much as I hate, you know, Fuji, Jackie. Jackie I respect her at the same time, so you know, it's cool. Tournament. Cause I feel like you gotta be some type of maniac to use a character in this game that just doesn't really have zoning. Yeah, Young Tang Rose, you know, everything is all good right now. Uh, just going into this Savage Showdown right now. A nice punish and sweep there. He's going to go for another one. Okay, down three is on deck. There goes some more beats. Flies right on into the, to the defense. Oh, and a nice... Flawless block. Oh, the lag probably did not help his cause. Probably wakes up the top of that was definitely very unfortunate here. We got the crossbow on deck right now, sliding into the DMs. Of course, Jackie Briggs jumping out of that corner right now, trying to keep on the pressure and taking it down to, to the face. Nice punish there. Beautiful defense from Doom. Ooh. Tries to go for the sweep, but the whip. Oh my god, my nine frame mid is just better than all the bugs you got. Watch it. And unfortunately dropped that combo there after opening them up. And right now, FTC Doom and this Jackie Briggs really trying to go on a tear. But Shen still having a health lead. Everybody having Fatal Blow available to them. The sweep. Oh, nice down one on wake up. Ooh. Who tried to come in with that 4-3. Oh! oh Had to be get just caught by the edge of that Fatal Blow animation. Shen was taking the first round. Slicing up Jackie. Strength. And you know, FGC Doom did not have that much uh, health left, but I understand. You got to finish your play. We're not playing with him. We're trying to get this shit over with. So go ahead, Shin. Oh, yes. Nicely done from Doom there. You, using the dude to stop any of the extra animation from Shinless that was coming out. Not trying to get pulled in and get comboed. See, look at that. It's a nice little damage over time, too. Oh, yeah, he's going to hold all this extra damage. Uh oh, sliding in. Okay. Anti-airs, I'm no more flip for you, sir. Jackson says Shin is seeing the future right now. I mean, Shin is up in the set, but not by much right now. Doom is definitely trying to make his way back. Nice throw. Goop, here comes. Oh, no, that would have been the perfect time to throw out some goop there. Oh, mm, interactable. Watch the oh. Hold his box of heads. Oh no. Not like this. Not like this. Shinless. Taking Shinless. Another game. Taking another one. It is now 4 2 right now in this set. Um, wow. Jin going off with this Fusion. And how long has Fusion been here? A little bit over a week now, right? I think, I think about a two, two. No, it's been about a full week. Ten days. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like ten days, maybe. Mina Toby, thank you for the follow and welcome to the Savage Side. Everybody out here get showing that support to Shin. You love to see it. You know, one day I hope you know people come through, shout my name out, and say, "Look at the homie Savage out here." You definitely need your people to be out here and be supportive. We love that. I got a little support. Okay, Doom goes to uh, Sonya. Here we go. All right. All right. And Nay Lewis pulling up said hello from the Wushi. How you doing, Nay Lewis? You all right? For the Wushi. For the Wushi. Round one. Fight. And here we are. We going to that main that Herbs was talking about. FGC Doom picking ten hut Sonya Blade. But right now, not making too much of a difference as Shin jumping in, going in, using the interactable. Ah. At four or three, I'm telling you. Doom would just block his toes a little bit more. This would be an entirely different set. Shinless is just coming in. They're four or three and just converting. I want to say about like eight percent of the time. It just Look at that. Boom. Up uh, again. Short hop. You Sit down. No you know, I'm really set point. I'm really surprised at Shin. He has not used that many short hops. Like he is very known for his short hop game uh, and abuse. 
But uh, he's done some, but not as many as he normally does. I mean, he hasn't really need to. You know what I mean? It just he just keeps going in with that four three or that um. What is it? With the back two? With the does um with, Ooh. with the pull thing there? Ooh, oh. Watch out, okay. Toad. Okay. Okay. And I but almost never right. see this variation either. So okay. this one's definitely some new shit right now. And out of the range. Okay, we see you right now. FTC Doom just abusing Sheen in the corner with Sonya Blade. Nice. Okay. Final round. Okay, Fight. Doom. Putting Sheenless in a blender right now. Oh my god, the mid. Oh my god, the cancer. Oh my goodness. Who man is this? Somebody stop that. Woo! Oh my god, the flawless block talk too as well. Look at this. Right we see the knowledge from FTC Doom right now, but Sheen, of course. Gonna try to slide over there. So your blade not giving a fuck. Sending out the onion rings and taking kicks to the face. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, so close. Almost got that crushing blow there. Oh my goodness. Oh, get the punish. Nope. Oh, boot. Wow. Here comes the mix. Yeah, there it comes armor broken. No break away, sir. Nice back throw. I don't. The animation is killed by that crossbow. And everybody having their fatal blow available. This is what's scary, as Ooh. always. But as soon as I say that, he take a onion rings from fucking Arby right to the chest. Okay. Right to the chest. Sonya Blade wins. And Doom is fighting back, getting his third victory here tonight uh, versus Shin. Shin having four wins. All he needed was one more win, but he's still in this. Of course, Doom needing two more victories. Doom needs two more victories. Shinless only needs to win one more game. But uh, it looks like Doom's got to stick with uh, Sonya, who apparently, according to Herbs, is his main. So I'm pretty sure he's very comfortable with this. Shinless Fuji. might be... Oh, no. Sticking Sonya with Fujin. I mean, why not? He's got another game to play with. Goro's lair. Stand down. Stand down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. I hate it. <laughs> Summon the cat turret. Hurt trauma. Okay. So, Round one. it looks like for this variation, she uses the, uh, with the turret. Which I actually like. I like that it's not just, like, a drop like it is in the other variation. It actually yeah. has some meaning now, and some purpose. Yeah, definitely. You know, this Tin Hut uh, variation here from Sonya Blade is very interesting and in the use of that drone. And we see some combos, but dropping it here from Shannon, of course, there is that famous short hop. Uh oh, here, here we go. The corner combo is from Sonya. Watch out now. Oh my gosh, caught him not blocking. Got a block. Oh my goodness, just master down two. Yes, sir. Gets the crush and blow. Sinless, well done. Unfortunately, gets grabbed. Gets put back right into the corner. Doom tried to hit him with a nice shimmy. Unfortunately, does not. Oh, sit down, young man. Where are you jumping? And definitely, everybody has to be careful right now. Fatal Blow is available. Not getting hit right there. Nice block. Ooh. Ooh. Got him. Got him. <laughs> not dead yet. Not dead yet. Oh, get it. Nice punish. Boop. Yep. Nice standing. Three. Finish things off. Okay, Doom. Seem to have found his Round character. Probably should have went with Sonya the entire time. But I digress. Wake up. Up three. Bring that ass here, girl. Down to the ground. Doom with another late breakaway. Gets down two. Throw whiffed from Stimulus. Hmm. That forward three here comes. Oh my god. Back two. Bring that ass here. And definitely trying to keep him in the corner, of course, and Doom trying to work himself out of the corner right now. And Shin keeps using this win, trying to pull him here and go into those kicks. Nice jump in here from Doom. Oh, nice. Okay, nice trade there. And probably in, in favor of Shin, however. The zoning is alive and well. It won't pop, won't think. It confirmed into fatal will do it for Doom if he can get one. Yep, just like that. Just like that. Down three into fatal. Pop, 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 pop. Face gone. Bye. Stomp him. Sir. Doom, and Doom fighting back. 
Okay. Doom fighting back right now, tying it up. It is now 4-4. Four, four. You know, I don't know what Doom was doing before. He just said, I'm going to try out some Jade. You know, I'm going to try out this other character here. And But now when his back is against the wall, he's pulling out the main. He's pulling out the Tin Hut. We got the Sonya Blade on deck. And definitely giving Shin a run for his money because Shin has not got a victory yet off of this Sonya Blade. Oh, no, he is not. Shin... Let's see if he sticks with Fujin here or if he makes a little change. We do not know. And shout out to Diana B for joining the Savage Side for Discord. Us, Thank us. you. You love to see Sonya it. I'm definitely Blade. looking for more people to join my Discord. Get active. Let's just talk. Let's just chat. Let's just chill. Let's play video games together. That's what's up. Thank you for coming to my Savage Side Discord. Clutch Jusu in the chat. What's up? Now, you know, I definitely need to see y'all, y'all, who y'all voting for right now. Are you going to vote for Doom here or Shin? Put your one in the chat if you betting on Doom. And put your two in the chat if you betting on Shin and his fusion. Let's see what y'all are thinking. Looking comfortable out here, but it looks like Doom is blocking those four threes. If you can keep blocking those four threes, that's what I'm going to tell you. Like, as soon as you started blocking that, those lows, it was a completely different match. Of course, we see Shin and his supporters out here in the chat. They are definitely putting those two spamming in. Good stuff. And going to go ahead and rub her face into the cactus. That's not good for your skin. It's not, not at all. Ooh. Ooh, nice, nice. Neutral jump. Ooh, bop. Beat, bop. Down to the ground, sir. Nice 36%. Mm. That cactus in the NBA. Oh, nice way. Well, trying to punish. Unfortunately, no punish. Misses everything. Ooh, that trade went in favor. Ooh. Doom using that cat turn to its advantage. Look at that. Getting the spacing he needs just to do a little boom bop projectile there. And Shin keep trying to slide into the DMs, but Sonya Blade was not having that shit. And here is the punish. Take her to the corner right now. Oh, just, I don't even know what that interaction was, but it, but it looked like that, uh, Sinless full profile that mid from, uh, Doom there with the 4-3 out there. You know, it's kind of short hops are coming. Here we go. Sinless like doing his thing, getting his facing again, trying to get himself away from Doom. Unfortunately, slides in, gets caught. Nice defense there from Doom. Beautiful punish. Nice 26% forward grab. Mm. Okay, and right now doom having some momentum for himself but definitely getting hit by the crushing blow taking that shit right to the chest And it is now tied up around a piece. This is definitely our first one going the distance put some hype in the chat. Come on y'all Game nine round three, you know what it is Oh using the cat to its full advantage you can't get close to me your old man. And right now, Shin definitely trying to bring uh, Sonya Blade closer to him, but being out of range right now. We got the oh, drone on the deck, interrupting everything. <laughs> Nate Lewis said this is uh, Evo worthy. Right now, definitely right, looking there. difficult for Shin. Definitely looking difficult for Shin. You can't figure out the way to get in. The zoning Ooh. right now is just, you cannot deal with it. Doom coming back. Taking the set. <laughs> and that is a big rip and F in the chat for all of the Shin supporters out there. But your man, Shin, definitely put on a great show. Thank you, Shin, for coming up to the Savage Showdown and participating. I really appreciate it. And FGC Doom, this is your first time here on the Savage Showdown. Love to have you back. Man, you put on a great display. Good work. Good shit. GG's. Definitely GG's to both Shinless and uh, Doom FGC, you guys did a great job putting on a great showing. Love your Fujin, by the way, Chandler. But uh, that Sonya just seemed like a Doom just looked more comfortable. But that's because you know, like Sonya's been here since day one, so that's just kind of what that is. So it looks like we're going to go ahead and get ready for our next set of the night. It is going to be a first of five again. Of course, we got Diana B. 
it is her turn and she's gonna be going off against MC Kilgore let's see how this goes please pull up to the room the savage showdown room I'll go ahead and ping y'all on Twitter let the people know who's watching what's going on promote 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 and I really do appreciate the people who like my tweets and retweet them as well definitely gives me uh, that exposure for my tweets I really re appreciate that a lot Looks like Kilgore's in here as well as a uh, Diane. Look at her up at the top. All right. It's a Joker background there in her uh, icon. Let me uh. I've been challenged. Hey, yo, King Mitch, FGC, man. Thank you for the follow, and welcome to the Savage Side. A minute, is that a divorce pick out here? Oh, snap! Wait a minute, the hourglass. We got a diva battle, Shiva and divorce going down in the savage showdown tonight. I always love to see a good divorce, it's definitely hype. Hey, yo, King Mitch, you know, definitely late is better than never. I really appreciate you. And here comes Bianca Diana starting off with his DeVore, wrapping him up. Okay. I don't know what you call that creepy shit on, on uh, DeVore's back, but I really love the uh, color of it. It looks nice. Oh, the, uh, like spider legs, basically? I don't know. Oh, got it. Mm. I know there's definitely uh, a scientific term for it. But yeah, we can call it spider legs. <laughs> spider legs, you know what I'm saying? This is like Spider-Man, you know? The Iron Spider type zone. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> mm, sweet for days. And right now, she Bianca is really just abusing Kilgore here in this corner. Him and his Shiva was trying to jump up and leap out, but she said, nah, fuck Two. that. Sit your ass down. Oh, stomp. Mm, yes, in hand. Mm, stomp that face. It's good. Oh, gets caught trying to stomp. Imagine if she had went off screen and then got wrapped up. That shit would have been cold. I wonder if that can actually happen. Hey, there's a good chance we might see it here tonight. And right now, Kilgore having some momentum on his side. We got the fireballs on deck. Hits the leap and still catching mm. Devora. You mm. will suffer. Yeah, that voice actress? Nah. <laughs> I mean, it fits the character though. You know what I mean? I mean, it's. She's a Shokun, you know what I mean? I don't expect her to have a high pitched voice, that'd just be weird. And right now, yeah, Kilgore yeah. gonna go ahead and throw your face into the imaginary cactus. Okay, stomping in your shit. Stomping in my Air Force Ones, we see you. Uh oh. Did it a little too early. No crushing throw this night. Oh my, sit down. Nice. I love that background. I love it. Okay, Ooh. does it again. The, okay. 
in the corner. Unfortunately, gets another. Oh my goodness! Finish her. Just stomping on you, breaking your entire body as I crush you. She will win. And Kilgore is going to go ahead and take the first one in this set against Bianca. Bianca, what do you want me to call you? You want me to call you Bianca? Uh, you know, Diana? You want me to call you B? BB? What, what is the name that you go by in the fighting game community? That is a solid question. And Carl GG out here, you know, giving some support, saying, you know what, you got this. And that's all you need. Sometimes you just need words of encouragement from somebody uh, to, to throw your way. And you never know what you can do with that. Black market out. And Diana B says to be called BB. All right, you are now referred to as BB. Let's go. BB taking on Kilgore right now. Kilgore is up in the set. It is 1-0. And remember, this is a first to five. Should be nice. Round one. Fight. Okay. Who comes in with the creepy crawler? Okay, goes with the arachno mm, Just getting man grab. Okay. Ooh. Is a little punish here, leaping up, gonna still oh catch the boy. Uh, stomping on her. Oh my goodness. Sheba must be from uh, New York with all this stomping. She's from New York. Oh. Stomping in her Tims, okay. My goodness. The command grabs are just going to town right now. I am the dragon. My fists breathe fire. Round two. Okay, she even talk your shit. She out here with confidence. Yeah. See, that's the confidence I'm talking about. BB, you need to have that confidence right there. Right there. Nicely done there. Oh, get swept. Jump kick. Fire. Oh, mm. I believe Kilgore is probably delaying the uh, stomp. And that's why he's able to track where BB is going. Ooh, nice punish here. Can she get a combo off? All right. Ooh, throwing it into the corner. Right back in. oh. Jump kick there. Throw, and that'll do it. Oh. That will do it. Kilgore is going to take another one here. Go up 2-0 right now on BB. But it is not over yet. She has the chance and opportunity to switch her character, switch off to someone new, or maybe stick with Devor, pick a different variation, or just think about what's going wrong here and, and adapt a plan. Definitely got to come up with a plan here to see about what is going on, what she can do. Character switch, variation, as well as what Savage said. Or just um, approaching the matchup differently. You know that that you might always just need to take a couple Shiva. seconds to reevaluate what's going on. Jacqueline Briggs. Oh, reevaluation done. Jackie, say less. <laughs> when in doubt, bring Jackie out. Let's see. We got the queen, baby Briggs, on the screen right now. Unfortunately, she's using the, the spawn skin. You know, at first, I was like, you know, spawn, this skin looks so sweet. But then I had to really think about it. Like, come on now. We can't deny the black queen now. We need we need to see her. But it's all good. Here we go. Let's get into this. I mean, BB, I... Shiva. Okay. I'm going with upgrades. Oh, trying to go for the interactive. Unfortunately, it's interrupted. Getting put down to the ground. Leaping up into the air. That is one stomp. Ooh, interactable. Ooh. Oh. And that is a nice whiff punish here. Gonna go ahead and get that little throw in. We got the dash punch on deck. The sweep. Gotta fix her kneecaps. I see I stepped on a little bit. See what's going on. Okay. Looks like BB trying to get started here. Unfortunately, 
escape failed, gets back thrown. Man grab. Oh, crushing blow. My goodness. And into the stomp. Another Damn. crushing blow. Back to back to wake up fatal blow. I'm tired of you stepping on my face. Gotta chill, boy. Please, please chill. Chill right now. But here comes BB right now. Gonna go ahead and pop off with her fatal blow. Let's see if this gives her the momentum she needs. And as soon as I say that, she takes a fireball right to the face. Right to the dome, unfortunately. Oh, and just throws out the fatality. Which one are we doing? Oh, we're still gonna step on her neck. Pull her first spine out. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I can't lie. Fatality. Disgusting, Shout out to right? the sound effects crew for that right. fatality because they did it. <laughs> they, they need to tell us what did they use as their sound prop or whatever you want to call it for that sound effect because that was clean, very disgusting, it was very nice. What up, Reason L, man? How you doing? Reason, what's happening? How you doing? I believe it is now 3-0 right now in the set, and we still have a couple more games to go. Uh, we need a first to five here, so let's see what Kilgore is going to do. Will he get another two wins here? And is BB going to switch off? Is she thinking about Sindel? Okay. BB out here showing off the entire female cast. Hey, that G. That Sindel skin is gaudy. It is a gaudy. Shirai Ryu Fire Garden. Round one. All right, going into game four here right now. Kilgore facing off against BB. He's just going to leap all up into her world, into her space right now with this intel pick. And, ooh, oh, the crushing oh, blow. Oh okay, my. BB, show off. Okay. It is an unblockable move, but there is a way to defeat it. You know, I definitely was, was having some difficulty myself earlier today facing off against the Shiva. I was able to do a couple four dashes to avoid it, but it didn't always work because if they delayed it, it can definitely they fuck up. It. Yep, they can fuck yeah. up your timing and everything and still catch you. And that shit is unblockable and very annoying to deal with in Combat League. Now, BB right now trying to make a comeback here and unfortunately gets opened up. Kilgore going to take that first round. And quick shout outs here to King Tevin and I4 Legacy. Thank you for the follows and welcome to the Savage Side. Stomping around the Air Force Ones. Okay. Okay. Nicely done. Trying to grab him with that hair flip. We'll go with a nice roll. Okay. We got all type of Sindel down too, but I mean, if it works, it works. Get your hit off. Mina in the air. Got her in the corner. Okay, got another hair flip. Okay, nice. Come on. Flames! Oh! oh just walks right on up. Fatal blow. Goodness. And gonna get caught by the raw punch walk fatal blow from downtown Kilgore styling right now going up in the set. It is now 4-0 right now. 4-0 in favor of Kilgore. BB is down but not out. She still has a chance to come back here in the set. Hey yo, reason you make um you make beats? You make different sounds, like do you do alerts and stuff for Twitch? Um, you know, like alerts and everything for like people following, so do you do stuff like that or you strictly just make your music for rapping? And a quick shout out to the viewers right now, whether you are lurking in my stream and you're just watching, hey, I appreciate you being here. If you don't feel like talking, that's cool. You just want to uh, hear me and the homie Octavius DMV on the mic and just chat it up and commentate these matches. That's cool. And a shout out to all my people who, of course, are active in the chat as well. I love it. BB saying she hates Shiva. And right now, Kilgore is on game point, possibly going to give out the first 5-0 of the night. Even a whole Chico, they say, huh? 
I mean, <laughs> round one, fight. He's not wrong. <laughs> Okay, coming in right away with the stomp, enhances it. Oh my gosh, another command throw. Okay. Oh shit. Careful with, unfortunately, jump kick, hard knockdown. Stomp coming yet again. Oh, okay, we got a little, uh, a little trade going there from the back too. Oh, try to go with the forward four. We get caught with the command grab and just get thrown play. into the corner. Kilgore now on Round set two. point. Fight. Oh. We got another leap. Gonna go ahead and get that counter hit. 150 damage stomping all over her face right now. A town stomp. Gonna hit her in the face with the shield. Coming through. Uh oh. Goes with the enhance every time BB moves. She will bleed and lose damage. Oh, trying to wake up Fatal, but gets command grabbed. Unfortunately, here comes the stomp. Woo! Okay, gets out of the stomp. Doesn't matter. Gets hit with a, with just barrage of punches. Now, I kind of low-key did want to see Shiva's friendship there. I, I'm not quite sure what her friendship is. I've not seen everybody's. Um, but, you know, shout out to Kilgore and BB for coming on to the Savage Showdown. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it so much. And, of course, I would love to have you guys back another time. Yes, de definitely GG's between Kilgore and uh, BB. Thank you both for coming through. Appreciate it. You guys put on a great show. All right, Reason guys. I'm making five beats a day for three summers. <laughs> okay, we see Reason. E Kanye West out here. Kanye Cheddar. So we happen to have our next one going to be coming up. It's going to be Legacy facing off against Scuttle Buddy. Now, I see Scuttle Buddy is here, and I happen to notice that Legacy did follow the uh, stream here a second ago. Hopefully, he is in the stream watching uh, right now. Just come on down to the Savage Showdown room here and so we can get this underway. The homie Scuttlebutt's coming on? Okay. Probably to be another Shiva, though. Scuttlebutt is a Shiva player. Looks like everybody is present and accounted for. All right. Let's go ahead and get this underway. <laughs> Logs says, should I make a comeback so I can rage some more? I mean, Logs, you know, do what, what feels right. And don't you, you like right now, you don't even have a PS4. <laughs> you can't come back. Damn, don't even got a whole PS4. Why is it still saying I'm connecting the match? There we go. Oh well, as long as I'm late, we're all good. As long as, as, long as they didn't start. Alright, I can see it. We're good to go. Shiva. Ooh, Legacy Kung out Lao. here going with the Kung Lao. Doing it for the Wuxi. Goro's lair. Right now, Legacy can go ahead representing the Kung Lao for the Shaolin. If you don't know, your boy Savage Instinct is actually a Kung Lao main. This is definitely my character that I played in Mortal Kombat X. And I played this character in Mortal Kombat 11 and some other characters as well. So here we are with the Kung Lao pick going into Lotus Fist, facing off against Scuttlebutt and his Shiva. Earth Realmers are so weak. And fragile. Damn, I am as tough as any outworlder, even you. See how easily your ego is bruised. Round one. Mm. Fight. Talk about my, talk about his ego. Now, how you feel about this skin right here for Kung Lao? 
I think it's pretty godlike. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, and we get the armor broker starting right off Ooh. right now. 439 damage. That is how you do it with Kung Lao. If you don't know, the dive kick breaks the armor. We see you out here. Oh my goodness, is that a flawless off rip? Flawless oh my victory. Goodness. Legacy coming through with the boom. Hey, you know, damn. Okay, we see you out here with Kung Lao right now. Making it definitely hard for Scuttle Buddy beating that ass in the corner right now. Putting on some precious short hops for days and this is down three is the grab. I'm a natural. Ooh, you heard the man, he's a natural, but imagine you're you're up three just being a command grab. You know, that's, that must be nice. Ooh, ooh, look at the show off. Look at the look at the optimization. Oh my goodness, break away for Scuttle, giving him a chance to get in this game. Enhances, wow, throws him over there. If he moves, I was about to get stomped on, yes sir. Enhance, extra damage. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Oh, tries to, tries to gel that into the down back three. Get Is this gonna kill? Him. It might. Yeah, that's, that's gotta kill, that's yeah. gotta kill, yeah, that's yeah. all. Oh yeah. Okay, trying to get round a piece now. Scuttle Buddy with a great response there. Had to use his fatal blow, but it doesn't matter. Gets the round. Final round here in game number one. Hey, yo, definitely do what the fuck you gotta do to get the victory right now. Everybody having a round a piece. This is definitely looking like it's gonna be a nice set. And abusing him with the forward one? Okay. Yeah, hitting him with the staggers. How are you gonna act? Scuttle cannot break away. He has to hold all this damage. Unfortunately, Legacy drops the combo. Mm. Cannot enhance it. Didn't have a meter. He has a meter now, but just. Mm, 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 mm. Legacy taking the first game, going up 1 0 here in the set against Scuttle Buddy. Kung Lao doing it for the Wuxi. Showing his hat off. And right now, Legacy getting on the board, taking the first one in this first to five set with Kung Lao, definitely showing off. Gonna go ahead and show me a couple things as I also main Kung Lao. Hey, show me the tech. Can't lie, I have a pocket Kung Lao, so, you know, this is nice to see. You ain't got no pocket Kung Lao, stop lying. Why you capping? Pocket Kung Lao, bro. I've, I've, I have play with him in the tower, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. You'd love to see yeah, it. Pocket. Definitely, we got new Shaolin every day. That's what's up. I don't know what it is about Kung Lao. I don't know. I know one thing about Kung Lao. I like his uh, cockiness, his arrogance. Uh, I think that's dope. I mean, in a video game, I think that's dope. And um, <laughs> I, I really like his fighting style. I know a lot of the different characters and their fighting styles are based off of some type of martial arts or whatever. And Kung Lao's, I really like it. Whatever it may be, I like it. Oh. oh, gets caught. Mid jump. Okay, down one. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, that. That's a pop up, too? Oh, my goodness. That's insane. I didn't even know it was like that. Scuttle Buddy gets the whiff punish that he was looking for. Backing away from Legacy. Oh, here comes the stomp. Legacy knows he has to back away to get out of range of that stomp. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, forward grab. Throwing the hat, hat toss. Neutral blocking it. And, oh, you cannot neutral duck that. That is a mid with the enhanced. Dive kick connect that time. Comes in with a forward four. That's what Shaolin's do. Come in with forward four, baby. And right now, he is definitely going off. But Scuttle Buddy still having a nice health lead here. And Lexi trying to make a comeback. He All he needs is that hit confirm into that fatal blow. What y'all don't know about Kung Lao's fatal blow, that shit will take all your shit. They'll take all your health. That motherfucker did. Oh, yeah. There is no such thing as healing here. As you can see, 41%. <laughs> I'm the best of the White Lotus. Round two, fight. Okay, watching out. Oh, yeah. Nice step mm -hmm, back yeah. there. Looks like Legacy knows what he has to do against that stomp. Catching Scuttle Buddy every time he tries to press a button with his hat toss. Hmm, I don't know if you wanted to break away from that. Probably just try to block Lee and then just get that caught. Hate to see it. 
Oh, Ooh, and a down two forward. crushing blow. Punish here from Scuttle Buddy. Unfortunately, dropping that combo right now, but gonna go ahead and open him up once again. Answers it. Mm -hmm, yep. If you move, you bleed, son. If you move, you bleed, son. Look at your health just dwindling away every time you move. And blow. here we go with the crushing oh, blow, but no. unfortunately, he dropped it. You hate to see it. Alright, so jump in. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Catch the shuttle, buddy. Breaks away. Short hop. Oh my god, the turbo is real. Oh no! Gets hit by the hat toss in the chest point blank range. Shuttle buddy tried to just throw out that fatal blow. Unfortunately, it does not work out for him. And that was so close to working for Legacy here. That punch walk came so close, just an inch away from hitting Kung Lao right in the motherfucking mouth. But uh, Kung Lao said, fuck all that shit. Hold this hat. Hold it. And right now, Legacy is going to go up in this set right now. I believe it is 2-0. And shout out to the 36 viewers who is watching the Savage Showdown right now. If you don't know, if this is your first time here, if you are not a follower, please hit that follow button. I really appreciate your support. And thank you so much for watching my stream. My name is Savage Instinct. I do this uh, Savage Showdown every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. And I also do one for Injustice 2 on Mondays for at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. We definitely have have the necros that come out and i'm on the mic with the homie octavius dmv if you are unfamiliar with him please get familiar hello hello how do you do how do you do welcome 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 yes yes let's go ahead and go ahead and get into game three it looks like scuttle buddy went with a good old texan pick here 52 card pickup see if that helps him out here Oh, going oh, into the slide, the okay. Oh yeah, here comes the punish. Mm -hmm. Four, two, 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 baby. Oh. And a nice throw here from Kung Lao. Gonna show ahead and try to apply some pressure. Gonna throw that hat, get a teleport out of here and catch him with the overhead. Oh, block the slide, he's ready for it. Looks like Legacy has done his homework. Been in the lab a little bit, knows what's gonna happen. Beautiful short hop. Punch there to take the first round. Round two, fight. Oh, gonna Ooh, start off with the cowboy finish. kick right to the face. Mm -hmm. Juggling him in the sky, you hate to see it. You don't want to be that man. The mix-ups are real. Scuttle is in a blender every time Legacy gets started. Percent beautiful conversion there. Shuttle does have his fatal blow, but how um, okay, nice down one there. He's this guy jumping all over the map on him right now. Wake up three doesn't show that into anything, getting hit by every shot for the fatal blow. Oh my goodness, uh, gun to the nose, mm. gun to accuracy. Now, what is it gonna do here with this little uh momentum right now? That's Kung Lao gonna try to teleport his way out of this one right now, holding all these bullets. Oh, oh. fuck. That was the wrong move. You hate to see it. That forward four is so negative on whip. And then he threw out the enhanced version two just to give Legacy some more time to just say, hey, okay, let me see what's going on here. And right now, Legacy going up even more in this set. It is now 3-0. You know, Scuttle Buddy thought that Aaron Black pick was going to work out for him. And I'm so sorry for you, Scuttle Buddy. That shit did not work out. Now, are you going to go back to Shiva? Are you going to stay with the Aaron Black? Are you going to show us something different? Uh, Davies, do you know, you know, being a, a fellow Twitch streamer, how do you give people permissions to post a link? You know how? Um, it depends on the bot you have. Um, Retro cave. Oh, you have to do you with your body? Yeah, because if you just have it, um, be, if you don't have a bot, then they'll be able to post links. So, your wise bot probably doesn't give people permission to post links other than you. Okay. Yeah, so you just gotta check your, um, your permissions on what your wise bot, because I had to turn mine off as as well on my wise bot and the streamlabs bot as well, because I stream the streamlabs. Okay. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and get into game four here right now of Legacy facing off against Scuttle Buddy, this Kung Lao. And he looks like he went right back to that Shiva pick. Let's see how this goes for him. Nice delay. Okay, okay. There we go. It's the command grab. Back to back. Command grab loops. Oh, wake up three. Whiffing tank. The deception in the background was pretty. Oh, goes with the <laughs> jump back three. Ooh, gets himself out of that. Oh, Scuttle Buddy letting go of the block button and a legacy takes full advantage of it, but he is getting punched around. The man grab. Enhanced. Move, you bleed, son. You move, you bleed. You die as you move. Bleed. And, and, hate to see it. <laughs> and Shiva out here is literally saying that. She's literally saying bleed. And that's very interesting move. You can't move. I believe you can't jump, right? Yeah, you can't. Like, if you move, you bleed and you, and you just take damage. Like, this is what it is. If she enhances, I think she has two command grabs. Um, if she enhances those, uh, it kind of does damage over time if you move. If you just kind of stand there and block, it would be okay. Then you know you can get grabbed, all other good stuff like that. It's just all makes sense. So when people say she was kind of broken, she's kind of broken. And here's one of them, another enhanced, probably a full, full screen. See, every time he moves, he bleeds and loses a little bit of health, and that will, that you know, that just kind of stacks up over time. It's kind of crazy, man. Final round. And right now, he's going to go ahead and get the uh, round tie here. Everybody having a round apiece. Missing that punish here. Jumping in. Nice forward one. This comes the combo. And we're going to get that crushing mm. blow with the armor break. Mm. Nice. For 439 damage. We see you, Legacy. Off to a beautiful start for himself. Let's see if Dunn can come back here. Mm. Scuttle using these, uh, this dragon's breath here. Oh, tried to delay it a little bit. Fortunately, Legacy was ready. Forward throw. Scuttle is in a world of hurt now. Ooh. Probably tried to duck that, unfortunately. Oh, my goodness. That fatal blow at the end does not work for Shiva, it looks like. And right now, Legacy just going off and just mandolin handling the Scuttle Buddy right now. It is now 4-0. Scuttle Buddy, what you gonna do? How you gonna come back? Are you gonna get a game on the board? I don't wanna see nobody get mopped out here. We're not trying to see you get washed. Come on now. I need you to get a victory. Victory! Victory! Gotta get my man Scuttle on the board here with his Shiva. Does he go back to Shiva? Goes right back to Shiva, you know. He lived by the sword, die by the sword, you know what I'm saying? Chronicus Key. Ooh, Chronicus Key, man. Now, you know, definitely when this match ends, I'm trying to see a fatality, a brutality, a friendship. Come on now. This is Mortal Kombat 11. Where's the blood? Where's the gruesomeness? Or if you want to throw that friendship out there, that's cool, too, because that shit is new. Hey, Light Cheese, what's up? How you doing, Light Cheese? Light Cheese himself, my man. How do you do? Chef Cheese. Hey. Given the chance, you would attack Earthrealm. Only if needed to defend Outworld. A pretext easily fabricated. Round one. How you know it's fabricated? How, how you know? Okay, looks like Scuttle's starting right off with a little bit of zoning, but Legacy just comes right in and says, I don't care what you throw at me. You just jump over all of it and grab you. Push you right back into the corner with a nice jump hit. 4-4 four, four into the end. Oh, yeah, jump over. It gets, oh, my goodness. Caught by the enhanced uh, down back three option there. Okay. So let's put the back two. Boom, boom, five feet. Enhanced. Yes, sir. You're going to bleed. Every jump, every jump you take health. Ooh, look at that. And that was definitely a nice way to uh, avoid that drop there, but uh, did not get the punish at the time. And of course, reading that breakaway, nice damage. My goodness. Hatches, Scuttle Buddy again trying to break away, gets the armor break. Round two. 
And just Fight. down goes Scuttle. Legacy now on set point here. The second one counters for a counter. Next row. Out here looking like Foxy Grandpa. Report overhead yet again. No punish there. Oh. All right, here comes Scuttle Blade trying to get something started. He needs to take a round here to stay alive right now. We can go ahead and get this A-10 stomp on the way. 140 damage. Trying to push Legacy to this corner. Oh, we got the Orbiter hat on deck. Mm. Okay. We see with the conversion. Ooh. And Legacy gonna go ahead and take it here. GG's in this set. Legacy winning it 5 0. Shout out to Legacy and Scuttle Buddy for coming on to the Savage Showdown. Thank you for participating this week. I really appreciate it. And of course, I hope to see you guys come back again another time. Uh, GG's to Shin, oh, excuse me, Scuttle Buddy. <laughs> GG's to Scuds. Definitely uh, feel bad for you there, buddy. Legacy, shout out to the Wuxi doing big things. Yeah. And it looks like we got our next one coming up. It's going to be King Tevin facing off against Chicken Tech. Let me oh, go Chicken ahead. Chicken Tech himself? Yep, let me go ahead and tag Chicken Tech on Twitter. <laughs> The tweet, yes, yes, of course. Hey, yo, shout out to LMNY Gaming. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Savage Side. I really appreciate you for being here. Koki, what up, boy? How you doing? Let me go ahead and tag these people here. We are just currently waiting on Chicken Tech. Oh, we out here with the resub. Look at this man. Hey, I see you, Koki. Thank you so much for the uh, resub. You are on a two-month streak. I really appreciate your support. I see the homie Chicken Tech is here. Let's get this shit started. Let's get it out. We got King Tevin here going up against Chicken Tuff, the God himself. Kung Lao, Johnny Cage. Oh, King Tevin going with Yanni Yates. Okay. Chicken Tech going with another Kung Lao with a. Ooh, Soul okay, Chain. I like the skin here. Nice hat choice. Loving it. Johnny going with a gold jacket. I don't know who this guy thinks he is. Oh my goodness. It looks like they out here like saying going... good luck, you know, and that's Round definitely good one. sportsmanship from these two. I love to see it. And let's go ahead and get into this set right here. The Lotus Fist going up against the outtake. Standing one anti air, beautifully done. Nice conversion of a nice little rising star to end us off. Boom, pop, pink, okay. You know, I just noticed we got another Kung Lao on the screen right now. Of course, the homie Chicken Tech. We love to see these uh, Kung Laos out here. But right now, this Johnny Cage not giving a fuck. Throwing the force balls. Oh, caught by the hat toss. Sweet, too. Big 
hitting him with the stagger, keeping him in the corner. Looks like King Tev is trying to get himself out of the corner now. Made his way out of there, but Chicken Tech says, no, get your ass back in this corner. I did not say you can get out of here. Beautiful throw tech there from King Tev himself. Teleport. Oh, but that puts Chicken Tech into the corner and get punished for it. And the chip last breath, unfortunately, goes away. King Tevin taking the first round. You know, and these guys coming out here, these uh, LMNY, they, these guys are looking real strong right now. Oh, okay. We see you with the open hat. They're out here trying to start a wave, man. You know, you be starting a wave looking weak. You know what I'm saying? You got to be out here looking strong. Hey, yo, somebody tell me what that LMNY stands for. Is that something relating to New York? What does it stand for? Um, that's a good question. Watch your fucking toes. We got this punish on deck. Johnny Cage trying to beat that ass. Nice tech here from fucking the Kung Lao. Coming through. He from Chicago. Luminary. What up, Luminary Gaming? Oh, that's got it, Luminary. Got it. Johnny that all makes sense. Wins. And right now, we got King Tevin. Uh, going ahead and beating that chicken tech for that first game here. It is now 1-0 Hey chicken tech said bro his pressure dummy good dummy good Oh, he from I think that from Baltimore oh, Kung Lao. Cool that be saying dummy Johnny Cage Hey, yo, you know, appreciate all the support right now from the uh, Luminary players here tonight. Y'all definitely showing up and showing out. Again, this is what I was talking about earlier. It feels so good to have people support you and have your back. You know, shout your name out and say, let's go. You got this. We love to see that shit. It's, it's always a beautiful feeling, you know, just to look in the chat like, you know, look, like while you're playing and you see Round your people one. in there rooting for Fight. you. You know, it's, you know, it's a beautiful sight. He gets the juices going, you know. And honestly, as as a competitor, if you see what the other people, you know, like in the chat, like rooting for the other guy against you, that can motivate you as well. That, oh, all right, that's how y'all gonna do me. And that and that's very true. That's that's definitely facts. I agree with that. Yeah, because I I know back when I played football, like. I love playing like away games just so I can shut the crowd up. Like that was just the best part of it. Mm, comes in with a beautiful jump kick. Rising star enhanced version. Okay, jump down. And these two right here are definitely going at it. And King Tevin will go ahead and open up Chicken Tech. That was definitely a nice, clean Fatal Blow cancel here. And right now, you have to watch what you do. Chicken Tech does have his Fatal Blow available, and that can be your ass. Takes a force ball right to the face. Round two, fight. Evan is putting on this oppressive pressure on Chicken Tech right now in this corner. Tries to go for a short time. Mm, that down three, I, I'm telling you about that down three, bro. That's on like a ridiculous range. Oh, Patterson with a standing one anti-air. Nice punish there. Chicken Tech trying to get himself out of this corner, but it's just not working. Grows himself out. Okay, the both are reversed. Escape fail. That bodes well for Chicken Tech. Does he get it? No! Bro, escape doesn't matter. Gotta do it all over again. Load it back up and all that. Nice counters though. Okay, chicken tech. Rolling, working. Uh-oh, Tevin got him back into the corner. Rising star I am, Johnny Cage. King Tevin taking the game. Going up in the set, I believe 2-0 over chicken tech in this first of five we got. Yes, yes, yes. And right now, it is 2-0. King Tevin looking real strong with this Johnny Cage. And Johnny Cage players, man, I definitely got to give hats off to y'all. This character is just a dope fucking character. But, you know, I am a little bit biased. I do want to see Kung Lao come through. But it is what it is. Get your dub.
Johnny Cage. I remember when they first like announced Johnny Cage. I was like, yo, like this is like the Retro the best Cage. that Johnny Cage has looked in a Mortal Kombat game like ever. And it goes with the show and what the gameplay of him in this game. This is with the best he's looked competitively. He looks aesthetically. He just looks like he came to play MK11. You know, big facts, definitely, because uh, in MKX, a lot of the players and characters in that game, they really look like potatoes. Shiny potatoes. Shiny, shiny potatoes. Stop reaching for my It didn't hat, let you John. hit the ground. Are you hiding a rabbit in there or not? <laughs> Round one, fight. Oh, we got that classic Shao Kahn. No respect, okay. Oh, bro, counter escape failed. Chicken Tech's got a guess now. Ooh, nice wake up. Dagger. Yes, sir. Ooh. And right now, Kung Lao putting on all the type of pressure here. Nice throw escape here from the Johnny Cage jumping in. Open him up. Force balls on deck. Using the dive kick to try to get closer to this Johnny Cage. We go going for a ride. We going for a ride. Twenty nine percent. How much it costs? Ooh. I expect the fourth wall to come out here and take things out. Ooh, nice teleport nice. there. Beautifully timed. Definitely but, nice teleport Andy. there. Yep, Round yep. Two. Definitely was able to uh, hit him out of the air on his way down. Here comes this Johnny Cage hitting him in the nut. The neutral jump is red. Oh, the roll. No punish, however, on the whip from King Seven. Seven keeping up the pressure here on Chicken Tech. Chicken Tech trying to respond here. Seven is ready for it. Uh oh. Chicken Tech said, I'm not giving up. I'm trying to get back in this. And these two really are just throwing bows right now and I definitely do not think Chicken Tech was trying to drop that combo. Almost got the grab off, but a nice tech here from King Tevin. Oh yeah, they boxing, boxing. Oh, the, the rising stars trying to get a little hit there. Johnny King doesn't work. You know, right now it is 3-0 in this set. King Tevin looking hella strong. Johnny We're gonna go ahead and go back into this chicken tech definitely believing in the Kung Lao pick not seeing him change from this character anytime soon And I mean his Kung Lao has been looking straight, but King Tevin has definitely just been getting the best of him Yeah, it seems like for the chicken tech is believing in his own skills not letting himself get flustered here because these matches have been uh, I want to the score doesn't really Round say one. how close these matches have been. It just seems that like King Tevin just kind of finds a way to to get away from Chicken Tech every round. But for the most part, I mean, I feel like this is a quite even matchup. Definitely, I mean, it's definitely been looking uh, pretty good. And even though when I post this to YouTube and whatever score we see here tonight will definitely not reflect how these two really been slugging it out. They're out here throwing bows, boxing, doing all types of everything out here. And it, and it is showing they're putting on a show here. Nice throw tech there from King Tevin. Ooh, beautiful flawless block of two there. Unfortunately, a nice breakaway there. King Tevin himself goes with the fatal blow this time. Okay. And that is so unfortunate. You can break away from the spin, of course, on Kung Lao and have forever and a fucking day to punish his ass and putting up all that damage. 429 damage here from King Tevin. Gonna go ahead and take that round. Oh, this goes with a random Shaolin spin. 
Oh, another throw tech there from King Tevin. Okay. Nice back throw there from Chicken Tech, putting Tevin in the corner. There we go. Boom, boom. Bop, bink, bop. Boom, boom, bop. Boom, look at him juggling. Oh, shit. And right now, here comes this Johnny Cage. But Kung Lao meets him in the air. Nice air to air. Oh, okay. Oh. Doesn't get the conversion he wanted. That would have been sweet. That would have been sick, but he still was able to get the round right here. And Chicken Tech trying to stay in this. King Tevin does happen to have three wins right now. And Chicken Tech not having a victory just yet. Nice defense there. All right, can go ahead and get this back throw, throwing Kung Lao into the corner, and gonna dive kick his way out of there, taking a force ball right to the face. The up three on wake up is with not really punished there from, from us. From King Kevin, unfortunately. Up oh, there goes another rising star hard knockdown. So we're saying. Okay, here we go. Uh -oh. That's gonna Four be into fatal right. blow. Yes, oh, it boy. is. Right. Yes. Boom. And this is definitely going to be over about 500 damage. I, m I believe so. Let's see. Can you get that extra 100 damage? Close to it. 461. Oh, we yes, got short hops into the down three. Down three. Beautiful. Or four gang, baby. Mm. Oh, trying to keep something. No. Here. Plus, that's negative. That's not what you want. That move is negative on block. Down goes. It is now 4-0 right now. Chicken Tech said he's fucking trying. And we see you trying. You know, we see you trying. And I'm going to say this. This is definitely not the first time Chicken Tech has been on a Savage Showdown. He's been here a couple times. A couple times. And he's came out, I believe, on top every single time. Those few times. But tonight, he is getting the fight of his life from King Tevin. Luminary and they crew have definitely showed up and showed out. And shout out to uh, Luminary King for the follow welcome to the savage side and jason blood 54 thank you for joining the savage side what's up so king mitch out here with the ultimate setup playing tevin all the time like with loud that's crazy that's crazy Kung Pao, my man. <laughs> Kung Pao. Low key, that's racist. Round one. Fight. <laughs> okay, Can we, we got Kung Lao. <laughs> From Johnny Cage? Yeah, yeah. Johnny Cage. <laughs> We got the Kung Lao going in. And nice uh, wake up there. Oh, having forever and they get the down two off. Here is the combo. We're going into the 4 4. Okay, put on that damage. 41 percent nicely done there i'm chicken tech getting the first round in convincing fashion that down two crushing blow definitely put him in of the winning round position two. and it worked out for him right now chicken tech having a round win over king tevin will this be enough to take it here hmm. king tevin blocking all his toes Mm, sit down, young man. Where are you jumping to? Oh, yes. Punish is the rollout. Force ball coming your way, sir. Dive kick. Mm, how do you do? Beautiful. Jimmy into the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We're just going to double you here, sir. 28%. Empty jump. Into nothingness. Another kick. Chicken tech keeping the pressure alive. Kevin trying to go with a little bit of staggers here. And right now, everybody Dude, having that fatal blow available to them, but of course, uh, the Chicken Tech gonna take it. Finally! Chicken Tech on the board! No sweeps here. Put the brooms away. 
You know, I definitely got to tell the homie Octavius to put the broom away. We will not see another 5-0 tonight. I believe we just came off of actually two 5-0s where Kilgore took out BB 5-0 and then Legacy uh, took out Scuttlebutty 5-0 as well. So, um, wow. You don't want to see that many 5-0s uh, in a row. Chicken Tech said that uh, he didn't get 5 though, so he can die in peace now. <laughs> Kung Lao, Johnny Cage. Shaolin Trap Dungeon. All right, y'all. You know, right now, uh, King Tevin is on game point. He's trying to finish this, but of course, Chicken Tech definitely giving him a run for his money. He's been fighting, fighting, and battling all fucking night. And Round even though one, the score looks fight. like four-one, Chicken Tech has really been in this thing this whole time. Oh, the imp the throw whiff does not is not punished because Chicken Tech went for a teleport there. Unfortunate. Uh oh, got a throw here. All right, here comes uh, Chicken Tech. We got this orbiting hat on deck, the forward four. It is safe. It's only negative five. Going to work his way in. Mm, the MP up three with not punished. On, okay. Force ball. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. The second hit next. Bring that oh. here. Oh, my goodness. 91. Okay. Oh, you can't break away. Now you don't have to hold this, son. Mm, throw back. Mm. Mm. Trying to get a force ball as he woke up there with, unfortunately, a little too early there. Mmm, tries to go in for a raw spin. Gets caught, unfortunately. Nice, uh, nicely fight. done. King Tevin is now on a set point. Right now, we're going to go ahead and see these force balls here from Johnny Cage. Pause. Putting on some pressure here. Okay. Ball is blocked. Oh, nice punish. The delay on the jump punch there was beautiful. Oh, yeah, Jimmy. Mm. Bop, bing, bop, boom, bing, bop, boom. Mm. Right in the gonad. You hate to see it into the short hop. Okay, right back at you, sir. Yes, I'm going to juggle you since you want to juggle people. Let's go. Oh, watch out now. Chicken Tech has an uh, opportunity to take it. Oh, trying to stay alive here. He could have finished Run. it. He didn't believe. He didn't believe. And that oh, is no. your ass, Chicken Tech, because you fucking could have. He confirmed into your fatal blow. I understand King Tevin had just a little bit of health left, so you didn't want to exactly spin your fatal blow, but it cost you right there. He came back and took this shit. Man, King Tevin and Chicken Tech, thank you guys for coming on to the Savage Showdown and putting on the show. Oh, okay. Friendship. Johnny Cage wins. <laughs> First time seeing that, so that was interesting. You know, I would have thought he would have did some mime shit, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I was expecting too, but you know. You know, and... To try to go for the unexpected? Uh. And again, thank you to uh, Luminary and they crew for coming out tonight. I definitely see how you guys support your people. I really appreciate that. Shout out to all of y'all. I really hope you guys come on again for another Savage Showdown in the future. And of course, shout out to Chicken Tech. Thank you for coming on to the Savage Showdown today. Uh, you got your ass beat. I mean, but, you know, you, you, you held your own somewhat. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you again for coming on to the Savage Showdown. I hope you come back again, Chicken Tech. Definitely shout out to the Luminary Boys. They'll definitely put in work. Shout out to King Tevin for showing us some more of that good Kung Lao play. Chicken Tech, you, you use my mans, but uh, yikes, my guy. <laughs> yikes. So we're going to go ahead and get into another one. We have some matches lined up for us today. It is going to be Jiggy Fee versus Frosty Fusion. Ooh. Jiggy Fee herself, the Ma the Matera goddess. 
Now, if you guys do not know, your boy Savage uh, Instinct happened to have a Discord. It is called the Savage Side, and I'm always trying to recruit people for my Discord. Of course, we play Mortal Kombat 11, Injustice 2, Apex, w Call of Duty Warzone, and a little bit of everything else. So I really would appreciate it if people can come through and join my Discord if you're interested. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that there, and I see Jiggy Fee is here. I should probably press accept. Yikes. Ooh, we in there. Now, guys, this is the final match of the night. Frosty Fusion taking on Jiggy Fee. Let's see how this is going to go down. Remember, this is a first to five, just like all the other matches here. Um, and, you know, definitely excited to see what goes on between these two here. Will it be as hype as the last match? Let's see. Cetrion. Ooh, a born again Cetrion. Okay. All right. Sub Zero. Ah, Frosty going with uh Kwai Lang himself, huh? Okay. Shredder skin, I see you. Question. <laughs> that motherfucker sounded mad. <laughs> Sub Zero, do not be for the jokes. <laughs> he is not with it. Oh, comes in with a slide. We get a thin ace. Thin, ace. thin ice variation. Oh my god, get caught by the tornado. That's the one. Mm. Nice back throw there. Okay. Oh, caught her in the eye. In the jump, man. Jump man, jump man, jump man. Okay. Need no introduction. No. Oh, and the breakaway. I'm not quite sure if that's what he was going for. But he's going to definitely try to shoot an ice ball here. That turn out here is definitely the avatar. Fire bending, water bending, air bending, doing it all. Earth bending. She, she's got it all. Everybody just wants to talk about Fusion being angry, but they definitely forgot. Ooh. Hey, oh my goodness, take a climb into Fatal, that's death. death. I mean, off of 4-2, that's definitely really not a hit confirmed. You praying for your life that it is. Um, but hey. it definitely worked out here for Frosty Fusion. Gonna take it right there, That taking that first round with Thin Ice Sub-Zero. You're on Thin Ice there, bub. <laughs> <laughs> Using all the elements, nice boom, beam, pop. Oh, I expect a slide after that, but he goes for the, the old America restand there. Mm -mm. Oh, wake up! Ooh, unfortunately, there's no avail. Oh, oh, gets caught. Mm, slide. Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe is that two slides. Not that it really matters unless Jiggy can find a way to come back here. Ooh. Oh, unfortunately. Ooh, no. Ooh. The ice needles to seal the deal. Frosty Fusion taking the first game. Going up 1 0 here. With uh, a Madame Jiggy T. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to go ahead and have Frosty Fusion taking the first one in this first of five set. Jiggy Fee, you know, out here with the century round pick, born again. Let's see if she's going to go back to that century round pick or will she switch off to Sindel or one of her other characters. 
Carl GG saying, I believe. And we got Koki putting some hype in the chat. Thank you so much, Koki. I love to see uh, my emotes being used. Yes, Koki, man. This is the last one of the night. Jiggy says, all right, bump all of that. I'm going with spring cleaning. Ah, I'm going back to the Deadpool. Shout out Ryan Reynolds. Round one, fight. He tried to start off with the rock wall, but it's punched immediately. So forward throw. Ooh, almost clipping her feet there, but right now Jiggy Fee gonna try to do a little bit of zone here with Centurion. Here comes this Sub Zero. He's in her shit right now. Got her in the corner right now. Here is the wake up from Jiggy Fee and the immediate breakaway here. Ooh, the guys are were a little too far, unfortunately, but these ones convert. Ooh, pop. Mm -mm. I see. Down to the ground, sir. Ooh, unfortunately, the rock throw took way too long. Watch the They would have slid on up in there. Ooh, I hate to see it. She read the throw, but the animation was a little too late. Round two is with and punish chip damage is a, a real thing with, with the thin ice variation. And uh, Frosty Fusion taking the first round. Round two, fight. <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna go ahead and catch him with that geyser right now. And we're gonna throw some rocks, some boulders. Gonna even shoot out some fire right now. Okay. Frosty Fusion, of course, gonna try to do what he can to keep Jiggy Feet into the corner. And she's gonna try to work her way out. She's gonna go ahead and switch sides here. Catch him with the back throw. Putting on some pressure. Okay. Oh, we're gonna catch him with the 4 2, believing. Believing in the cards, that's what he's doing. His, his, his heart is in the cards, and it's working for him. Unfortunately, they're up two. Believe in the heart of the cards, Yugi. Believe. I think. No, no, he's gonna finish it off the old-fashioned way. There you go. My patience, right? Yugi, getting yourself into the round. Going down final to the final round, round here in game fight. number two. It looks like Frosty Fusion is picking up where he left off. Even the pressure catching every whiff that Ziggy is throwing out there. Using. Uh oh, just caught me air with enough two. Nice punish there. He didn't, get the, didn't get the conversion he wanted. Ziggy trying to put a little bit of pressure here on Frosty. Keeping things safe there. Keeping things plus. Ready for the hit. Okay. Keeping things safe. Here it comes. He can see it. Getting caught on his toes. Ooh, pop, ding, boom. Yes. Fire spin, but that's Ooh. negative, ma'am. Boom. And down goes Jiggy. Frosty Fusion going up 2 0 here in the set. Yes, you know, and who needs a fatal blow when you have a slide crushing blow? Doing all that fucking damage and that sub zero fit. That shit is too clean. You can clearly see which outfits the uh, developers showed love to. They clearly love the fucking sub zero new skin. They shit. They clearly love the new scorpion skin. That shit has so much detail. That shit looks clean as fuck. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. They definitely did love that Sub Zero skin because they put a lot of detail into Sit that down. one. And I do love what the MK11 Scorpion skin. I think that's his. I think, personally, I think that's his second best one. I think it's the second best skin. Sub Zero. Ever for Sub Zero? No, for Scorpion. Oh, okay. Um, what, what do you think is the first best one? Uh, the one from uh, not Deception. Um, Armageddon. I would have to uh, look at them again, but right now, man, my bet on this new uh, uh, Scorpion skin looks clean as hell. And I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, quick shout out to Dijon BJ. Thank you so much uh, for the follow. Welcome to the Savage Side. 
Oh my goodness, looks like we have the Royal Adenian here. Low profile on those ice balls with the stream or so. Get close if you want to. There's a ball here and we'll do some damage to you, sir. Unblockable, you're gonna have to hold that. Damn, a 4 4, you already know what it is. 4 4, up 3. Mm hmm, textbook. Woo! Classic Sindel. Mmm, mmm, just frozen. Bop, mmm, bop, mmm, slot, mm -hmm. yep, can't you bring that, mmm. Oh, that enhances it, too, for the whole beam. And right now, Jiggy Fee gonna go ahead and gonna go down the zoning route, as she should. I mean, whatever your character has, whatever tools they have, don't be afraid to use that shit. Who gives a fuck what people have to say about it? Right? And she says, I can rush you down, too, but why, why would I mm. do that when I don't have to? Oh yes, she has the set up here, skipping away. Oh no, this is his chance to come back. Not like this. Not like, like this. Oh my god. Fatal blow, textbook. Literally textbook. You know, and I think on one hand, I believe that Jiggy Fee relied too much on that um that little orb that purple orb that was in the air Round to kind of two. finish him off Fight. when she should have just did a combo string took out the last of his defenses and then just killed him yeah Let's shoot out another one of those low strings that is two the crushing blow will be affected here on the next slide uh, amplify mm, comes in with a four four with a stomp Four, four connects there for Jiggy. Mmm, crushing blow. Mmm, that hurts over time too, ladies and gentlemen. And oh no, does not throw out the crushing blow. Probably trying to save it there to finish things off. Probably will he still get it again. Jiggy tries to wake up with an up three. Unfortunately, spot big slide. There it goes. Brutality. Where's your head at? Where your head at? Isn't that a fucking song? Okay. Frosty Fusion right now. Just really just keep going up and making it harder and harder for Jiggy Fee to come back. I believe he is at 3-0. Oh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I believe you are correct, sir. I believe that is a 3-0 for Frosty. Now remember guys, this is a first of five. You know, Jiggy Fee has a chance to come back. Um, but it definitely is looking very difficult. She had a couple nice plays there with her Sindel, but she just has to finish Sindel her plate. Yeah, I think Sindel definitely worked out very well for her. Um, if she just kind of would have believed in herself a little bit more, I think that uh, first round would have went a little differently. It's just kind of like how you said she relied too much on the purple orb there to finish them off, and when those like went away, and he just Gained ground, she couldn't really do anything else. Yes. So. Well, but it looks like she's going with splitting hairs now. Mm hmm. With the haircut and the women's lip. Fight. Oh, with the red? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, red caps him with a nice punish there from the whipping clip. Boom. Throws him right into the corner. Beautiful back, too. Oh, my goodness. Jiggy going to town off red. Mm mm mm. Yes, ma'am! Oh my goodness! And here comes Frosty Fusion says, okay, this is what we're gonna work with with this? Doesn't matter. Hold this. Hold this. Jiggy taking the first round. God, Lee. Hatches him yet again. Okay, this time he blocks. A very clean punish there from Frosty Fusion. Of course, gonna catch it with that forward two, knocking her down to jump in. Here comes Jiggy Fee. And nice breakaway. Definitely not trying to take any more damage. And she's going to catch him from a fucking mile away with the hair flip. Honestly, I would have been caught by that too, so. <laughs> hey, shit. Don't be ashamed of it, man. Sindel's catching me a mile away. They can get you so far. Like, I forget how far that distance is all the time. I think it's, it's, it's damn near full screen, honestly. Yeah, they can do that, I believe, at three different ranges. It's not tracking. They have to choose which, uh direction to do it on. Woo! Oh, okay. She says, I'm taking this game, getting herself on the board. Snap. Mm -hmm. mm, step on me. Step on me. 
and right, Jiggy, Jiggy Fee is gonna go ahead and get herself on the board. Okay, we see you, girl. You're not gonna get blown out here today. Right now, it is 3-1. Jiggy Fee getting a victory with her Sindel. Come on through, Queen. We seize you. We seize you. Jiggy Fee getting on the board here. Yo, to see it. Shout out to the viewers right now, the 28 viewers, everybody who's watching the Savage Showdown. I really appreciate you guys being here with your boy Savage Instinct. If you are liking what you are seeing, please hit that follow button. I really would appreciate your support. Sindel, Scorpion. Oh, shit. Uh -oh, I'm going for us. We're going from, huh? Going from uh, Kwai Leung to, ooh, ooh. Okay, that shit kind of crispy. Okay, that shit kind of go. Now imagine, you know, being in combat league or something, you know, and you're dealing with Sub-Zero and the fucking mix, and then they're just like, you know what, and they switch off the Scorpion. Like, fuck, those two are a dynamic duo. Definitely. They have definitely been the uh, focal point of Mortal Kombat since the inception, actually. With a reborn, too. So you know it's about to get schmixy up in here. Look at him. Canceling his teleports already. Keeping himself positive. We got Ben Ross in the chat. He said it's even Combat League special reborn Scorpion as mm. well. Yeah, you already know, boy. Evil players be ready. <laughs> oh my goodness! Did y'all see that snipe? He sniped her ass oh out of the air. God. He said, get the <laughs> fuck out of there. This is my sky. Oh my goodness. Definitely got to get those punishes. Here comes Jiggy Fee. Going to go ahead and throw Frosty Fusion into the corner and get that round right now. Everybody being tied up on a round of peace. Fight. To protect, tap for protect. We got it going on another round of peace for them. Oh, blocking the initial screen there. Hmm. I want to know what the requirements are for that. The whip and flip of uh, crushing the blood because I've seen her get counters, punishes. Like, I've been just not used it. I, I, I don't know what the requirement is. Like, I don't know what it is. She is catching him a lot with his whip and flip. He's unable to do. Trying to breast assist. Oh no. Not like this. Not like this. Frosty Fusion does have his fatal blow ready. It will go. Oh, all he needs is one more Ooh. hit. Oh, but. Watch out now. Jiggy is not with it. Getting herself back on the board with Queen Sindel. And Jiggy Fee is definitely fighting back right now for her life. She said, put that fucking whack ass scorpion away. We see you, Jiggy Fee. The queen is out right now. She is still down currently. Frosty Fusion is up in the set, but Jiggy Fee right now is stopping that momentum and she's trying to come back. Definitely trying to come back here. Jiggy Fee putting on a show here with this splitting hair Sindel she's rocking with. Ben Ross out here saying big brain plays. At least that's what I'm guessing from the emote. <laughs> mm, Frosty sticking with Scorpion Reborn here. I mean, that definitely was a close, close match right there. And I'm loving the random going to Deadpool and all these new maps. I'm, I'm loving it. Shout out to NRS for the four free maps they gave us, man. It was beautiful. You know, I've been asking for this a while. Like, I've been saying, like, please release, you know, some new stages along with some new intros and outros. And, of course, they always do the skins. But, yeah, just give us some new shit. Yeah, it was, it was needed, you know? I feel like every time a character comes out, they need to have... Oh, my goodness. You do not want to get caught by that. And right it's now, Jiggy Fee going to go ahead and catch him with another hair flip. 
You know, I can't lie. The scorpion skin kind of makes him look like reptile. Mm, a little bit. Just needs the color. green. Yeah, if it was like green or something like that, like you would think that this is like an alternate skin for like reptile. Hey, shout out to my uh, new follower here, Mute Karma. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the Savage Side. Nice teleport there. Catches the whiff punish there. Enhanced teleport. Trying to go for the good old American reset. But gets 4-4 four, four back to back for Jiggy P taking the first round here. Trying to tie things round up here. Two, fight. And there it goes. Boom. With the low. Here comes the mix. Whip and lift again from the blue. Yes, Jiggy is putting this man in a blender right now. Getting schmixed, cancels it. Yep. Keeping herself. Oh no! Wake up! Three is whip and punish. Enhance. Boom! Get over here. You heard the man right in the chest. Damage over time. Hold this a little bit extra, please. And right now, you know, Chicka is going to try to close this one out. Foster Fusion having only just a little bit of life here. She's screaming all over the place like Black Canary. Ooh, nice. Unfortunately, the trade was in favor of Jiggy because she had way more help than Frosty Fusion did. Ties the set up three apiece. And just like that, Queen Sindel, Queen Jiggy Fee is back in this thing. It is now 3-3. It definitely was looking a little bit rocky earlier. It was looking a little bit hopeless uh, because Frosty Fusion was up in that ass. But Jiggy Fee is coming back right now. That's the Jiggy Fee I know. Doing work out here. That's not the Jiggy Fee I know. She normally get freed up. But you know, Ooh. that's what's up. Go ahead, do your thing, girl. <laughs> Mute Sorry. Karma, you know, we are doing all right. How are you doing on this Thursday night? We just happen to have a Savage Showdown going, just enjoying some players play, some Mortal Kombat 11. Just trying to have some good entertainment for the night. That's all. How are you doing? Definitely just out here vibing tonight. Catching some good action we got going on here in the Savage Showdown. My man said he's doing fine. Okay. Four fourth yet again into the upgrade. Just a nice teleport. Unfortunately, a little late there on the punish from the stream. Another four four there connection. Another second hit. Mm. Nice back throw. Mm, right in the shin. And right now, of course, uh, Frosty Fusion is going to try to keep Jiggy Fee in this corner. He's definitely trying to believe in the Scorpion pick, even though he just lost twice with the Scorpion. And here comes Jiggy Fee. Here comes the combo. Nice down two, which is anticipating a breakaway. Gonna catch him with a hair flip again. Oh my god, he is getting flipped all the way back into the corner yet again. Jiggy giving another round of victory here on round a two. roll. Fight. Are you see uh, Sindel putting out a hip there? Okay, we see you. Hey, Sindel still got I'm it? I'm trying to tell people, yo. Sindel is the <clears throat> best looking female in the game. I don't care nobody says. All right, you know, I wouldn't say all that, but hey. man, I saw her put the hip out. Hey, I'm just saying, bro. It's okay, you know, Octavia's out here. He like cougars. That's what's up. Ain't no shame in your <laughs> gang, bro. More cougars for you. Do your thing, Octavia's DMV. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, a little experience, you know? Ain't nothing wrong with that. And right now, there was a very nice uh, tech there from Frosty Fusion, and Jiggy Fee trying to fight for her life, about to die. You will suffer. We got the homie Ben Ross laughing his ass off in the chat. You love to see it. Here comes Frosty Fusion and this reborn scorpion right now, putting on the pressure. Here comes a short hop. Oh my. Okay. Escape fail. All right, all right. What? Here comes the mix. Ooh, tried to go for the uh, three-quarter screen option there with the whip and flip. Mm, the four fours are catching him. Interactable. Ooh, gets caught by the spear. Boom! Boom! Knock down. Okay. The mix. Oh my goodness. Not like this. Four four again. Daggers of the four four. You don't even know if it's coming. The up three that time to put herself back with. Oh. 
Oh yeah, take him for him in the fatal blow. But does I don't know if this will kill this might scale. I see a couple of shields going out there. I don't know. Oh she's still alive, but out comes my um this is a 4-3, I believe, and that'll give Frosty Fusion here the win, stopping the 3-0 run of Jiggy Fee, putting him up 4-3. Yes, you know, and I'm very surprised that she tried to move right there after that. Um, he definitely had the upper hand there in that scenario, and she ended up getting clipped by that kick. Right now, Frosty Fusion going up in his head, breaking through that tie. It is now 4-3. Remember, guys, if you are new here to the Savage Showdown, if you are new here to my stream, my name is Savage Instinct. I definitely put on these uh, little exhibition nights every Thursday and Monday. Thursday for Mortal Kombat 11 and Monday for Injustice 2, just in case you still happen to like that game. We still have people come through and play that game on stream. I'm also a variety streamer. I definitely play many different games. I played Mega Man X recently on stream. I played Nier Automata on stream recently. So I'm always trying to play something new. Uh, thank you guys for being here, for real. Yes, this is a first of five. First of five wins. Right now, Fusion is on his fourth win. All he needs is one more. He is on game point. And this is the last match of the night. Round one, fight. Okay, going with a gated. It puts, oh my goodness, she's the interactable to get out of that teleport that was coming her way. Mm. Oh, Bolt, watch yourself. Mm, mm. Mm. Okay. It's like Frosty, Frosty Fusion here knows how to play against Jade. There goes six. Mm -hmm. And you know, and this is really Jiggy Fee showing that she has skill with many different characters here. This is like her third or fourth character of the night. I believe so, yeah. Mm, Scorpion wins. Frosty Fusion is now on set point. Round two, fight. Right now, we got this Scorpion trying to come through right now, put on that pressure. And Jiggy Fee missing that down too. Okay, she could be trying to get out of this corner right now. Frosty Fusion is having none of it. Having, ooh, down two. Okay, four throw. That was a, uh, I believe it, it was an escape fail. Oh, yes, nice punish there. Using the spacing that she has, the distance and range that she has with the pole. Mmm, mmm, glow kick. Putting on that pressure right now, and Jiggy Feet does mm. have the health lead. All she needs to do is finish her plate. Please, not like this. Please, oh, Jiggy Feet, do something. Oh, He's about to go right to his fatal blow. Oh! oh she just said, oh. She threw it out there. She said, it doesn't matter. It and that was hella matter. risky. All he had to do was really push any type of button and um, really could have knocked her out of that. But Jiggy Feet, okay. Anything but the super long startup that the back four had. Final Anything round. but that. Anything but that. Anything but that. And right now, Jiggy Fee is definitely trying to fight back. Frosty Fusion is on game point here in this first of five set. Oh, got him. Stab, stab, stab. Mm hmm. Oh, throw away. If she's lucky, she did not get down two right there. Oh. But she said, I'll throw one out there for you, commentator. Thank you. Blocking her toes and taking throws. Ooh, that is negative on on block, man. Round one, another throw escape. Blocking the spear. Throws out the glow, running up. Mm -hmm, yep, coming in with the pole vault. Iggy P, a one solid. There it goes. There goes the back grab. Boom. We're tied up. Four games apiece. Another game nine here. Win. Love to see it. And right now we have Jiggy Feet answering back with the Jade. It is 4-4 tied up. 
this is the last match of the Savage Showdown. I see a couple of people requesting an action about getting in this. I really apologize. I humbly apologize. This is our last match of the night. This is the last match for the card. Um, I do these on Thursdays. If you are interested, I happen to have a Twitter. So if you are on Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter and everything at uh, Savage X Instinct. And I will put up the sign up links on Twitter on Thursdays. And of course, you can sign up there to participate in these. And I'm always welcome for uh, new people to come through. Log said, let's get jiggy with it. Okay. Now, y'all, I need y'all to let me know who you are voting on here. This is the last match of the night. It is 4-4. It is tied up. Are you betting on Jiggy Fee? Please put a 1. If you're betting on Frosty Fusion, put a 2 in the chat. Let me know what you're thinking. Who's going to get this dub? Okay, going ahead and getting a throw here. Put it on some pressure. Oh, dodging that spear. Okay, we got the short hop on deck. Watch out. And Jade missing the down two here. And here comes Scorpion taking advantage of that whiff. And that puts Frosty Fusion Round there two. on set point. Jiggy trying to figure out a way to respond, but of course he gets punished with a nice crushing blow. Frosty Fusion with a nice life lead here. Keeping it going. Spear enhanced. Restand. Boom. Bop. Oh, she tried to down two. And Frosty gets interrupted with a standing one. Nice down one, anti-air, here comes the overhead, boom, boom, wiggle stick, ooh, does not convert, unfortunate, you can see breaks away, goes in with the fatal blow, ooh, Definitely gonna be a close one here. Using that reborn teleport, of course, ooh. to try to get back there, and right uh, now, here comes Jiggy uh -oh. Feet. Is she gonna finish him off? Finish your plate! Oh yeah, finish him off! Ooh, the chip! <laughs> your chance. We brought it down to the final possible final game here tonight. Fight. Here we go, the last round. He runs up. Nice down one little counter there from Frosty. He's playing extremely safe. Here comes the back four. Nice short hop punch there. A back another one. Oh, she tries to wake up Button. Unfortunately, gets punished. Frosty is hitting her with the shimmies, the mixes. And this is definitely Jiggy gonna go go down to the wire right now. Jiggy oh, feet got him in the corner. Ooh, oh my god, that down too. Ooh, he's getting hit with these overheads oh, right now. Oh shit, we can see a scorpion oh, fatal blow available. Ooh, ooh that would have been a perfect time to grab there. Nice down one. Ooh, with the Jiggy tank. Watch him. out. Oh, oh shit. Is this, is this gonna kill? I don't know. It might not. Oh. But it might. I don't know. I don't see any shields. I don't see any shields. Mm. Oh, oh my god. That was yeah, a nice one this. there. And he's gonna throw out the tea bags. These tea bags are very unnecessary. Frosty fusion, you know, we definitely try to keep a clean, safe environment here. Definitely okay with the uh, fatalities, the brutalities, and all other stuff, but we do not need the tea bags. But he's gonna go ahead and take a victory in this very close set. Um, facing off against Jiggy Fee. You know, thank you to Jiggy Fee and Frosty Fusion for coming on to the Savage Showdown. Uh, and participating. I really appreciate it. And shout out to Octavius DMV for sharing the mic with me tonight. Um, Octavius, please go ahead and shout out, you know, your channel, what you do. Go ahead. Hey, man, no problem. I was definitely honored to share the mic with you tonight here on your Savage Showdowns. Um, I actually run my own exhibition series that goes down um, Tuesday. Tuesday nights for Mortal Kombat 11. I also do um, exhibition for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on 
Wednesday nights, and I do Dragon Ball Fighters as well on Saturday nights. That'll all be starting up next week. Um, I actually already have a lineup for Tuesday for Mortal Kombat 11, but um, going forward, I have openings for everything else. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, um, that is at Octavius DMV. Um, you will see every shout out, um, every sign up option that I have. I keep everybody informed about what's going on. If um, if I have something going on, if I don't, just give me a follow, just give me a holler, and um, thank, thank you guys for coming out tonight, supporting my good friend us uh, average here, man. Yes, yes, yes. You know, thank you again to the homie Octavius DMV. I really appreciate you uh, for coming through and sharing the mic with me, man. We got to do this again. It really was fun. And shout out to everybody who's came through. Hit me with the follows. And Octavius DMV, I didn't even see that you gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for your continued support. I really appreciate it so much. And thank you to Fusion Gamer Live uh, for the follow. Now, you know, one thing I'm going to say again, I don't know if anybody has seen my rule here on the savage showdown on twitter and everything but like i said you know we're not going to try to get into um the the trolling or anything like that we're not trying to disrespect nobody we want to put on a good show uh, a nice fight have some entertainment here and just leave it at that we don't want to troll people in chat we don't want to make fun of them we don't want to uh, be on their case or anything like that now you may not take that the tea bag seriously or whatever like that but somebody else might so you really have to think about shit like that. But anyway, I want y'all to have a good night. We're going to go ahead and raid uh, someone here today. We're going to go ahead and raid uh, FLS Colors. I believe she is currently playing Apex Legends right now. Go through there and show some love. Ooh, Ace Max. Yeah, so if you happen to like some Apex, please go through and show Colors some love. I really would appreciate it. Um, you know, go over there and be respectful. Come on, y'all. Be respectful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all have a good night.